fish, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. And it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. Lights are dazzling, shining bright. The busy hum permeates the air. It's electric. With a dash of spice, you kick up the heat until you spin it, twirling on your feet. Sweat it out. The thrill of the game, the high of the night. The sizzle of temptation, the intoxication of sensation, and just like that, it's another ending to your glorious hot Alabama nights. Wing Creek Casino and Hotel in Montgomery or Watonka. Find your winning moment. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. man playing a flat top on a handmade rocking chair Oh God, it sounds so good, yeah, that feeling's there You can hear the years, sweat and tears and everything between Coming through them callous hands, yeah, banging on them strings It's in the heartbeat, now ooh. It's in the heartbeat, it's in the real thing You can't make it up What could 148,000 people possibly have in common? As different as each of the members of America's First are, they all like it when good things happen to them. Like when their savings earn a higher return than they can get with a bank, and when their loans and credit cards have lower rates. And they like taking care of business from wherever they are. Why not join us today? America's First Federal Credit Union. gentlemen welcome 230 is the first flight check-in is now 232 so let's time to fire this up it's the 2018 alabama bass trail presented by phoenix boats the first stop first to the south first anywhere after our postponement of the first stop in pickwick 
So it's a chance for these anglers to show what Lay Lake is all about. I'd like to welcome everybody watching on alabamabasstrail.org. My name is Robbie Floyd. I will be the host up here. Clay Baldus will join me in just a moment, the Waymaster, and of course the program director, Kay Donaldson. But one thing about the Alabama Bass Trail, it's our fifth year in existence. It's been getting bigger and bigger each and every year. 225 boats left this morning, partnered up, ready to hit Lay Lake and show you what it's all about. Big weights are to be expected if you listen to what the guys were catching in practice. They've had good weather today, some sun, some overcast, and also warm weather. Temperature in the mid-70s today. It's going to get a little toasty here on stage, a light breeze blowing. But one thing I want to point out is, is not only have we been getting bigger as far as the angler count, because they are full in both the North Division and the South, but without the great sponsors you see behind me, this Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats and new sponsors like America's First uh, Federal Credit Union, Jacks, as well as Trapper Tackle coming on board for 2018, also helping us in our goal to help support the sport of bass fishing in Alabama and the Southeast. The reason I say because it's not just about Alabama. They are all Alabama lakes, but people travel from all over the South Le Southeast to compete in these events at 10 different stops on the tour, plus a two-day championship, plus another open championship we'll talk about later. So a lot is on the line for these guys. $47,000 at each and every stop is at least up for grabs. That's not even counting the contingencies they may have. Somebody's going to walk away today $10,000 richer for taking the first place prize. But we also pay down 40 places, $500 for 40 to play. That is huge, uh, especially with the entry fees that are having me put up for a five tournament entry. You win a, or get in the top 40 in a couple of uh, events, you've already got your entry fees covered for the year. Um, Anglers of the year, they get their entry fees covered for the year, and that's what we're going to see the guys come across stage that are basically fishing on the ABT's dollar because they won that Angler of the Year title last year, Chris Rutland and Kobe Carden. But first, I'd like to bring up the lady who's responsible. She wears many hats, but her big title is a program director. How about a warm welcome for the ABT's program director, Kay Donaldson. Kay, 225 boats launched uh, effortlessly this It's easy for me to say effortlessly this morning. And uh, who would have thought in five short years this event would be what it is because it is big time. You know, I certainly never thought that. Uh, it's something you certainly dream of, but I, I just could not really fathom that we would be at 225 boats, especially in both divisions. These guys did this last year. We were sold out in this, in this division last year, but to be sold out in both divisions, what a blessing that is. We surround ourselves with good people. The team that we've assembled, the sponsors we've assembled, the host cities that we go to, we surround ourselves with good people, including the anglers that fish with us. Our goal is to always leave a place better than we found it, to leave it more, uh, to put an economic boost there, to put a little economic boost in these guys' pockets, uh, and to maybe give a little education as well. I think you definitely do that and give back to the communities and the little guys coming fishing. Uh, for those of you watching on alabamabasstrail.org, there's several fans that come out here and watch this way in. but. Uh, 225 boats. We're going to have to motor through this. They get their paychecks at the end of the day, but there's a lot of guys out there battling for that $47,000 payday, plus when you include contingencies. Well, you know, we knew, the, we knew the fishing was going to be good because we came over on Thursday and everyone was telling us just how good it is. And you know these guys, they're always poor-mouthing. Yeah. So if they're really talking it up, you know the fishing's got to be good. Um, and they're anxious to get started. They were They're fired up this morning. Everything went flawlessly this morning. Couldn't ask for a better day. This lake has held Bassmaster Classics. You know, it's, it's used to having big-time tournaments. So uh, I think it's time for the Alabama Bass Trail to show them exactly what this lake can produce. And, what, uh, and, and we have a, a three-way battle we talk. What do you think it's going to take to win here today, though? 2880. Okay, 2880. That's what Kay's going. Kay, head off stage. She's sinking almost 29 pounds. And Dan O'Sullivan, who's going to be taking the pictures and uh, writing the articles for Alabama Bass Trail, uh, .org and the uh, tournament series website. He already told me earlier today he thought 2785. My mind had 2777. Clay Baldus, who will join us here in just a moment, is going to have his book because we have a little triumvirate bet at the end of the year. And uh, maybe we'll you know drink a case of Mountain Dew and talk about it a little bit later. But we'll find out what today's winning weight is. I already heard you know that there is at least one big fish in the mix going to be coming up here shortly. But we kick off the Alabama Bass Trail the same way at each and every stop. And we'd like to pay tribute to our soldiers here in the U.S. and around the world. So if you would, please stand up, take off your hats, and thank of our soldiers for uh, fighting for our country and defending our country around this country with our national anthem. Hey, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we won 
things going. I'd like to thank all of our other sponsors. Again, this event presented by Phoenix Bose, but Bill Penny Toyota, Academy Sports and Outdoors, CNH Marine, also Garmin, the Garmin Grand up for grabs. If you have the Garmin set up in your boat, you win an extra $1,000 if you're fully rigged with the Garmin equipment. With Dowie Marine, with their contingencies as well, Alabama Power, Jack's jumping on board, as I mentioned earlier, Mountain Dew, our Mountain Dew Big Bass. Somebody going to take a big swig of that Mountain Dew and walk home uh, a little richer. Trapper Tackle, Lose, and AFCO with our uh, shirt providers. All right, here's our waymaster, Clay Baldus, up here. The, the man who's going to be, you know, they're the ones that are going to be angry with you and trying to press down on there. What does it take? What's it going to take in your mind to win this event? You know what? I was really, I was really hearing right around 30 pounds, but then everybody's like, well, uh, if it's five days ago, yeah. I don't know what's happened. A lot of conditions. Give me a number, Clay. I'm going to go with 27.20. 27, 20. So we're all in the 27 range for our guests here. And we'll find uh, out who is the closest. I think we need to keep a cumulative total, too, and maybe a $5 pot on the side for our overall at the end of the year. So 225 boats left, and the first flight checks in at 2.30. It's 2.40, 10 minutes later. So Tim Windsor, Mike Smith, you get to be batter up the first ones. What's it like fishing in the Alabama Bass Trail on the, the first stop of the season? It was great. Everybody was real courteous this morning. We run into several boats on the water. Everybody stayed back and, you know, obeyed the 50-yard rule. How many times you been to L.A. Lake in your life? Hundreds of times. Hundreds of times. What did you think going into this event it would take, especially after practice? I would say 24, 25 pounds. All right. Now, you caught a limit. I saw that on my board there. How long did it take you to get that limit? Uh, 7.30. 7.30? Yeah. So about an hour, hour and a half, you were done, or an hour, you were done. Yeah. Things are good, but things shut off a little bit after that. All right, so we will set our, our tone for the big bass. Let's find out what it is. First up, Tim Windsor, Mike Smith, our weight is 12.85. You didn't have a big one in the mix? No. But you saw one? We saw one. Is really it? close to your to where you were fishing, huh? About 30 yards from us. That hurts. <laughs> oh, yeah. That hurts. We'll see it come up. Guys, you're our leaders right now. Let's find out Windsor and Smith uh, coming up. Next will be Jeff Hale, Lance Kirkland. Come on over here, guys. Again, a lot of new anglers. A lot of uh, anglers have been with us for several years. Make sure we always have two, you know, two sets of bass up there in the uh, the cages. And come on over here to my left. All right, 1285 is what it takes to take the lead. And it looks like you're going to do that over 15 pounds, 15, 14. That's a good start to the season. More than I thought we had. Really? I, I can drop it down if you want. No. <laughs> How about you get a couple of pictures? Yeah, all right. All right, go grab a couple of those bass, hold them up there. So 15, 14 already in our second pair coming on. What do you think it's going to take out there for our fans? You think it's going to take at least 25? Raise your hand. At least 25. 27 or better, raise your hand. Does anybody think we'll go 28? No 28s, huh? You think 27 is the magic mark, and you got three of us that are guessing that too. Anybody out here think it's going to take 30 pounds? Is there a chance? Nobody said 30 pounds. And literally coming into this, that was the mark that I heard that could possibly be attainable. I'm surprised that nobody said that. I hear there's an eight-pounder in the mix coming up here uh, sometime today. We'll find out about that. Congratulations, our leaders right now. We also talk about... Okay, Donaldson, we got the Mountain Dew Big Bass back again for 2018. How much do they win if they have the biggest? $500 for just doing what they're supposed to do anyway. They're out there trying to catch the five biggest bass, but if this is the biggest bass of the day, you get an extra $500 from Mountain Dew, our uh, Mountain Dew Big Bass. We also have our ABT gear uh, sponsorship as well. We have a green minivan 
right down here at this corner, right down toward the end of my trailer. They can't turn left, can they? They cannot turn left. Can't get boats out of the water blocking the road. So if you got a green minivan, raise your hand. We just want to just, just, you got a green minivan? I wouldn't say it either, but you need to go down there and move it because I can't make that turn. I made sure and parked my rental car a little on that farther side. Haney and Haney, what did they need to take the lead? It was close. 15-14, we got a new leader. Jeff Haney, Rick Haney, 15-47. Come on over here, guys. Why in the heck are you hiding? Why are you hiding behind me? You're the leader. Because we need more than that. I know you do. But, hey, it's a good point total to start things off. We'll see where you are at the end of the day. But it has to feel good catching a limit of fish to start the ABT. Yeah, we had that in like 45 minutes, and then it went downhill from there. You, you know. turned the spigot back on. Yeah, basically. All right, we'll see you the next stop. Thank you, guys. Next stop will be like Martin for the ABT saddle. Let's bring up our next pair. And the guys, again, go around us. Etheridge and how, how do I say Is it John McAlpin? I'll get that right for sure one of these times. I got to say McAlpine. I know it's had to been beat, beat up a time or two, but you got a limit. I like seeing that. Is it a good limit? Uh, no, sir. It's poor. Not today, though, huh? Where's your home lake? Uh, Miller's Ferry. Okay. I like Miller's Ferry. It's a beautiful lake. Let's find out when any, you were looking for 15 and change. You got 12, 60 today. Good start to the season. Thank you, sir. Again, we're going to have to keep motoring through these, let you know every 25 sets of boats that went out, that is a flight. Each one of those flights comes in 15 minutes later than the other. So the second flight should be coming in right now. If not, there's a penalty, right, Clay Baldus? If they're, if they're late, what happens? There is a penalty, man. It is one pound per minute up to 15, and then you're flat done. You're done. No matter if you have 16 pounds, you're done. But you're in. You're on time. You're looking good, as always, in that Alabama Bass Trail. And you're looking even better. Hamilton and Blackman, 1560. You take the lead. Um, I, I'm, I ain't going to hold on. I, I, <laughs> It ain't going to hold up, but it's been a good day. We caught a bunch of fish. I mean, we just didn't get a big bite. So. How many total do you think you caught? 30, 35. That's a hell of a day fishing. It is. Yeah, it is. Good job. Hey, grab a couple of those bass. Hold them up for us. Uh, set the tone. We got, let's go like 16 pounds or better. If you get 16, or pound, 16 pounds or better, we're going to get your pitcher for a little bit, and then we'll bump it up as it deems necessary. 1560, Randall Hamilton, Drew Blackman. So we've already got several 15-pound uh, bags. Our second flight's coming in today. Nine different flights in all. Remember, you got your X's there. Hold them out. Remember, hold them close to the camera. Makes them look bigger. That TV magic going on there. I try and get out. Another thing, uh, Clay, I hadn't talked about. Guys going for largemouth or spotted bass. So what's the limit or what's the size that we're looking for? On, the, on this lake, it's 12 and 12. So 12 for the largemouth, 12 for the... Spotted bass. You need to be at least a foot long. Now, what if somebody catches a gar? Can't weigh it. Bow fin. They can, they can catch them, but they can't weigh them. Bow fin. If you lift that bad boy, can you bring it on stage? No. Don't lip it anyway. It's bad. They're a toothy sucker. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> I did. I live in Texas. I'm not too smart. Stephen Young, Brandon Denny, come on over here. Talk to me. Tell me it was a good day. Well, we caught a bunch of fish, but we just didn't get a good bite. You look good. I mean, you got some brand new action wear. The Golden Girls did you right. That's right. They did. Hey, it, and you know one of these stops, say so you got 1260 a day, one of these stops that could uh, pay for itself $250 if you're the highest placing finisher uh, with that ABT gear. Let's move on to our next pair, Mark Frazier, John Nolan. And we'll try and get some more words in with guys that catch some big weights up here. How did it go for y'all today? Uh, it was kind of tough. The uh, water got out of our area, so it was made it. The tough. water left your area. What, where, were you, where, where were you at? Uh, well, we were fishing very shallow. I mean, we were seeing them on bed and everything, but everything was gone now, so we just had to scramble and get it, I mean, catch what we had. All right, it looked like 1349 your total today. The guys, thank you for fishing with us. We'll see you at the next stop. Dale Rogers, Bobby Cox, checking things out. Look at you. Your bird dog in that cage over there. We got some big weights today. I don't think so. You don't think it's got big enough weights? Not quite enough. Looks like you're going to be just shy of 15 pounds. Been fishing ABT uh, for years now. 14.63. You know you still got four more tournaments to turn it up. At least. Yeah, we'll see you there. Thank you, guys. Tommy Bridges, Jimmy Cook, they're up next. I see you got five bass in the live well. So how many total did you catch today? Nine bass. You got five good ones? No, we got five. Why are you hiding behind me today? But <laughs> you don't want that camera to catch? I got a whole lot to talk about. Who caught more, you or him? Both of us. Uh, okay, you caught my... We had a hell of a boat ride. Did you? We did. We kind of spun out uh, somewhere along, along the way down there. Your fault? Boat's fault? No, we don't know what happened. Just all of a sudden turn left or right? Turn left. That's bad. 1369, but y'all are, are all right. You're good? Your legend kept you right? Yeah, we're all right. All right, good job, man. Thank you. 
Marty Sumner, Simon Morrow, come on over here. Get once one pair clears, you can bring them on. Hey, you had a good day. Over 15 pounds, will it be enough to take the lead? 1560, I believe, is our leader. 1532, just shy of that, but did you have fun today? Excellent. How many did you catch total? Uh, we only caught about seven, but I have a, have a story real fast. Tell me. Um, a good friend of mine uh, lost him in a car wreck about a year ago, Kyle Mabry. I traveled with him, and uh, we used to always go to Chick-fil-A and get a Chick-fil-A sandwich and carry it in a boat. And so I told Marty last night I'm going to get my Chick-fil-A sandwich, and maybe I'll catch me a Kyle fish. And with five minutes to go, I broke a rod, hand-lined hand -lined this fish in. I don't know what it weighs, but it's big. Kyle was there? Kyle was there. Hey, Kyle, we miss you, buddy. I uh, got to cover him on... Uh at Classics before, so our Mountain Dew Big Bass right now taking the lead, 6.02 pounds. How about a big round of applause for our Mountain Dew Big Bass leaders? Go grab that bad boy. What are you, what are you leaving for? You got to hold that up. That could be a $500 fish. It could be. It could be. Grab a couple bass, hold it up. Nice start, though. Good one. Hang on, let's get it up here. Let me get out of the shot, and then I'm going to ask you, because this is a one-day tournament. It's not like you're going back to back to back. So, guys, a lot of times they'll go ahead and let me in on what they caught it with and how they did it. Go ahead and drop that, that bass back in there. And, and I know i got to go through 225 boats, but can you let me in on uh, what you were doing? How would you catch it? Uh, I caught that fish on a ribbit. Um, like I said, in the last five minutes, we're actually – leaving the pocket to come here, and I threw out behind the boat, and she blew up on it. It was one of those things, so this is my last cast? Last cast, and broke, broke the rod and hand lined her in. I'm, I'm all cut up from the break. How about the heart rate? Jump up? Uh, extremely high. You're still nervous? You're still nervous. <laughs> all right, good job. Congratulations. Way to do it. Robbie Pelt, David Kaler. I expect big things from you, man. I see one big thing in there. We have fun, yeah. I, I think we want to weigh this one. Five bass looking to take the lead and does just that. 1654 for Kaler and Pelt. And you got a big fish in there. Spot or largemouth? Head. It was definitely a head. Um, had to spot fish, though. The heads wouldn't cooperate. Now, uh, let's find out what your big bad. What, you, uh, what were you doing? Tell me a little bit about your day. Uh, just really throwing a jig on some, some offshore stuff and then um, – Swam a jig, caught him. So. Jigs all around, one way or the other. Let's find out. Having to re uh, re zero that. Where's your partner? Sitting in the boat. You know you're the leader right now. Didn't even want to come up here. That's him. That ain't right. <laughs> as long as he should be in the boat, he should have somebody backing that thing down, doing all that. You're doing all the hard work up here on stage. Somebody's got to do it. All right, let's find out. Our big bass was 6.02, 602 and you beat it by a tenth. 6.12. Nice. Good job. Yeah, you're the lead. The only way you can do it is if you take that lead. Good job. Our Mountain Dew Big Bass. Grab that big bad boy. Hold it up there for Dano and the crew. Shows you what they're all about. Alive and well on the Alabama Bass Trail. We're in Lay Lake. This is Beeswax Park. I got to see uh, Kevin Van Dam. Let me see. A few hundred yards to my left when the last Bassmaster Classic was held here. I got to see Jay Yellis win a Bassmaster Classic here in, what, 2002, 2003. It was my first Classic. Boyd Duckett also won on Lay Lake. That's the only Classic I've missed since Jay's won, the only Classic I have missed uh, at all since then. And I was, in, in, the, in the word of the Olympics, I was actually uh, calling an Olympic qualifier or snowboarding. That's the only reason I didn't do it. And let's find out what Jim Laster and Matt Webb have. It's tough following those guys, but you got 1461 yourself. Still a good day. Yeah, it's a real good day. We uh, we lost one about six or seven pounds. <laughs> that hurts. About five feet from the boat. So uh, how how does that happen? Yeah, uh, well, she come up and jumped twice <laughs> on me, and I uh, couldn't hold on to it. Spit her, the so. bit. Hey, good job, guys. Way to start it off. Thank you. All right, still our lead, 1654. It won't be there though. We're gonna move up. Stephen Morris, Matt Van Zandt. I think you're gonna. Come up a little shy. Looks like 1441 today. Smallest bag of fish we've had in six months. <laughs> it, it happens. You know, it, as I say, don't try and win practice out there. Did practice go well for you? Yeah, we've been we've been doing well the past few weeks, but they just bit they bit funny for us today. But, you know, we had the bites, but they just wouldn't they just wouldn't get the bait. Wouldn't take it. Hey, it happens. Part of the event. Thank you guys. Sun's starting to come out. Get a little toasty here on stage. But Barger and uh, Mark Atchison. I see 940. What is that? Come on over here, guys. I didn't even. I thought y'all were, you know, just ghost riding. 948 on your day today. Uh, tell me about it. It was rough. Real rough. Real rough. You caught. Uh, you caught five though, right? We caught five. Just not the size you're looking for. Not the size we're looking for. How about Martin? 
What's that? How about Martin? You ready to go there? Yeah. You got you to get better than this. Shake it off. All right. Shake it off. Thank you. Clay Elliott, Frank Clark, they got five bass in the live well today. Looks like you're around that 15-pound mark, just a little shy, 1473. Yeah, uh, we call our fish all beds. Uh, we're in about, I don't know, 100 yards maybe. Seeing them, blind casting, no one in there there in that area? Seeing them. Water's that clear? Uh, where we were. Or they're that shallow? They're all the above. All the above. <laughs> Good job, 100-yard stretch. Paid off for almost 15 pounds. Matt Green, Justin Nunley. Come on, Matt. Lead right now, 1654, but it's not going to stay that way. Let's bump it up almost a pound, 1723. So, yeah, it is better than sticking your eye. Hey, we got a new leader. How about a round of applause for him? They're taking the lead. You deserve that. Everybody takes the lead should get a round of applause, right? Yeah, I hear you. You know, we, this lake gives me fits. I told him every time I come down here, we're, we're real pleased with that. I mean, we caught him early, and then, you know, you get to running around out here against this crowd, and... You know, these fishermen out here, you, you don't really want to fish behind too many people out here. And it's a five-event series, too. You're not going to win the championship or the angler of the year in uh, one round, but you can definitely get behind, and I think it's a good start. That's right. It is. You know, we'll take that. I mean, that's what we, we came out here to do. It's not our, our probably our best lake, but, uh, you know, we're looking forward to Martin, and, you know, at least it was warm today. I could feel my hands for a change. Yeah, it is quite a day. Good job, guys. Hey, grab a couple of these bass, hold them up. You got over 17 pounds. That's our new leader, 1723. They were in boat number seven. Again, $47,000 for these 225 teams. That's up for grabs today. We pay through 40th place. Makes me wonder, you know, that one angler said they lost a fish five foot for the boat. Uh, if they had a trap or tackle hook, it might not have spit that thing. And some of the people wondering what that is. It's one of our new sponsors. But I got to see about it from, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got to see it from my buddy Keith Allen. He was really pushing it on uh, Facebook and the former host of the Bassmaster uh, Tournament Series up on stage. I've known Keith a long time from his action sports days, but that's where I got the, the first mention about that hook, and uh, they were passing some out in the uh, voter registration yesterday. So, Allen Yarborough, Kyle Dorsett, come on up here, guys. Remember, I always need uh, two... Two sets. Oh, my goodness. Great googly moogly. Alan Yarborough, Kyle Dorsett, they're looking for 1723, and I think you're going to get that and maybe a little more. 1828 for Yarborough and Dorsett. That's the way we do it. How about it? Come on, guys. We're almost up to that 20-pound range, and you got some good fish in here. You got, you were definitely around the right places. Yeah, we, I think we were. We we just we stumbled on something and just you know caught, caught a couple good ones. Can you let me in on that something? Uh, well, we're just mainly throwing a spinnerbait on the river. Really? Yeah. It just uh, it was it location dependent or something about that spinnerbait? No, I mean just just fishing. Really, we we lost a couple good ones this morning, and we kind of threw the tie in and just went fishing. Good job. Go grab a couple of these bass. Hold them up for us. Our new leader right now, Alan Yarbrough, Kyle Dorsett. Five bass weighing 1828. You got one in there. You got a big bass of 612, possibly. No, he's gonna weigh a big spot. Gonna weigh a big spotted bass. It just set the tone on what we're looking at. Getting spotted bass, largemouth bass. Any smallmouth bass in these waters? Nope, no smallmouth. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. I didn't think there were in my lake, but somehow people are catching them in my lake. I live in Texas. Spot 502. Felt it was a little bit bigger, but hey, nothing wrong with that, huh? You count five of those, you've been really happy. Yeah, I wish we had another one or two, but that one will do. Good job. Hey, our new leaders right now. Yarborough and Dorset, Brett Cottle and Nick Robinson. You got to follow that group. Come on over here, talk to me. Tell me, tell me about your day. Hey, somebody's got to do it. It might as well be you. You could, you know, you could have nineteen twenty, even better. We really don't want to follow that last sack. Hey, at least you caught something, and you caught five fish. Unfortunately, it's about a two-pound average, and that's going to be a grand total of ten pound, ten point zero four pounds. So just couldn't get in that size, huh? Couldn't, couldn't get none of the good ones today. It happens. We'll see you at Martin, guys. Thank you. Thing is, I say see you at Martin because everybody that signs up for the Alabama Bass Trail doesn't sign up for one event. You might be a big stick on that single event, but you have, when you sign up for one, you sign up for them all. And uh, the, really, that's why it shows you who the best of the best of both the South and the North are because uh, you can be good at one lake, but you got to be good at five. Uh, what was what lay like in your mind today? Tough. Tough. All right, let's find out what tough is. David Sherrill, Dennis Sherrill, you got 1630. It's going to put you in the top five right now. What were you throwing? What were you doing? Shake a head. Shake a head. All day? All day. All right, so going for light stuff for big bass? Uh, going for anything that would bite. It did. Hey, good job. You caught over 16 pounds. Congratulations on that. Aaron Warren, Murphy Clump. Come on, Professor. Get on up here. 
<laughs> you know it's not the first time you heard it. Two bass today, though, that's not what you were expecting. No, his definition of tough's a little different than ours. So. Yeah, so what was happening? Hey, we uh, had a great day in practice and then uh, got out here this morning. Obviously, the water dropped a foot and it just flipped our game. Did everything pull off from those spots? Were you really tight to the bank? Yeah, we were. We were real close to the bank. All right, but you're representing Aaron Warren State Farm, uh, Ranger Bows, Mercury, all your, all your D guys, and I know you got four more stops to help prove yourself. Yeah, we're looking forward to the next stop at Martin. We're from Opelika, so that's our home lake. So we'll see you there. All right, thank you guys. All right, Murphy and Clump with 444 for their total, not what they were looking for as we move on to our next pair. Brad Tapley, come on over here. Garrett Thee, you got five bass. Are they five biggins? Uh, they're all right. Five extremely adequate ones, extremely average. You need, need a few more. Looks like you're going to have over 13, not quite 14, 1388 for you today. All right. Well, thank you. We appreciate it, and thank everybody for coming. Thank you, guys. Again, everybody watching on alabamabasstrail.org is showing you how many bass they're catching today. All right. If you take the lead, you get your picture taken. So keep taking that lead, Rocky Lions. Jonathan Tut, you take the lead? I don't think so. Not today. Not today. We'll find out what you got. You got over 10. Looks like 1185, but I like your attitude because you're ready for Martin, it sounds like. Absolutely. We'll be there. All right. We'll see you there. Thank you, guys. Let's keep on moving. Next pair, Chris Jackson, Mike DeRoche, Jr. How'd it go, Chris? That went pretty good. Uh, I, I think apparently all my fish got washed in hot water. And <laughs> they shrunk. They shrunk on you. Cold water. You got to do that. That way it keeps it from shrinking. 1324 for you today. How many total did you catch? Uh, about 70. 70 bass. Really? So that's a good, fun day. It's just couldn't get the big one. It was fun, but uh, it was a bunch of small ones. Really hard to call up. What were y'all throwing? Uh, shaky head and flipping. Shake your head and flipping. All right, well, good job catching 70. I want to go fishing with you if you're catching 70 fish a day. Timothy and French coming up next. Richard Timothy, James French looking to take the lead. Not going to do it today, though. Where are you at? Why are you hiding from me? Come on over here. You, you know they don't get any bigger if you wait. They actually shrink. Come on, step up here just a little bit. Nervous walking up here on stage, isn't it? A little bit. Hey, it's, it's part of the program, so you know you can stand up here longer if you catch bigger bass. I know you don't want that, but it'd be good to have $10,000 in your pocket, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Welcome to the Alabama Pass Trail, guys. You got the first one out of the way. We'll see you at the next stop. Uh, Anthony Goggins, Jeremy Headley, come on over here. These guys have won before back in 2016 with over 25 pounds. Tell me you got 25 pounds today. We know where four of them are. <laughs> really? Yeah, we left them uh, about 1 o'clock. The big ones really started pulling up, and we just couldn't get them four real big ones to bite. Oh, that hurts. So that tells me you got one good one in there. So take the lead right now. You need 18-28. Looks like Goggins and Headley not going to get another win here in Lay this year. 16-42. So can you let me in on what it is or where it is that, that's happening right now? Uh, Not very far from right here. Really? Yeah, somebody could easily pull up just right over there at that boathouse, catch a seven-pounder any minute. And uh, is it bait-dependent or just that spot? Is there a magic bush there? No, it's just the, the, the big females are just moving up, just like right now. And we knew that. That could be the case. And so, a little late. Yeah, just a little bit late is all there is to it. All right, good job out there, guys. Congratulations on your catch, 1543 on your total for Taylor and Johnson that are coming up here. And, yeah, it's a good start to the season, 15 pounds. And how, how many total fish you catch today? dozen or so. That's, that's still, you have a good time? Yes, sir. Cool. You ready for Martin? Yes, sir. Getting ready. What's your best lake on the five uh, stops? Alabama River. All right. We'll see you. We'll see you there. Thank you, guys. Moving on. Jason, uh, Wesley McKellar, Adam Currington, and they got a big one in here, but just shy of 15 and a, or 14 and a half pounds. Look like 1449 LWS money bait. Is that what you caught it on today? <laughs> yeah, I wish it was. We caught uh, most of them on a jig today. Jig fishing. Uh, how many total you catch? Uh, probably about twenty, something like that. Good day, great day. Fourteen forty nine. Let's find out what this big fish is. Six twelve is going to take the lead. You don't have it. You got six forty nine. You do take the lead. Almost six and a half pounds. All right, who caught it? You or him? Me. What time of day? Uh, probably six thirty. Tell me the bait. Tell me the location. What were you doing? Give paint me this middle picture. Up river a little ways and fishing a jig under a boat dock. Flipping jigs under a boat dock. So, so were they pretty shallow? Are they tied to the, are they in the shade? Are they out in the sun? Are they deep in there? Are they out to the edge? You know, we thought they would be shallow all day, but uh, we just didn't have a good, have a lot of luck with that. We just got lucky. Had to be in the right place, right time. You were on that one. Good job. Grab that bass. Hold it up for us, please. Good job. All right. 
Flipping jigs under a boat dock. That's what I'd be doing. Especially big sunny day like today. Look at this. I'm a, I'm a horrible flipper. I mean, I am absolutely horrible. You race motocross uh, for only so many years like I did and uh, break your wrist three times in seven places all within a year's time. Flipping's not my forte. But then again, I'm not. Tommy Bevel. Tommy Bevel's flipper. T. Scrog. He's a flipper. Jeff Morgan. All right, tell me, Tim. Jeff Morgan. Tim Van Egmond. Van Egmond. All right, I just got to. Van. I got to figure out Van Egmond. But just today, though, let's find out. Hey, y'all had a good day. Looks like over 16 pounds, 1645. You did it right. Good deal. Good deal. Good yeah. alternate. Did he catch some? He caught a lot of them. He's really? Like, yeah, he's pretty good. Hey, but he, he's de he's designated. If your other partner doesn't show up, that's your guy. That's right. He's a good one to get. Now, what's your other partner going to say when he sees it? You know, uh, He's going to probably smile. <laughs> I think so, too. We'll see you later, guys. Thank you. Terry Meek, Eric Smith, they're coming up next. Looking for 1825. Not going to do it a little over 13. Looks like 1360 to start off your season. How do you feel about that? It was a tough day, but we, you know, we managed to get a few out of the grass, I guess you'd say. Yeah, having to fight them out of the grass? Or? They were you light lining in the grass? No, we were using heavy stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> then that's good, though. You got the right equipment. We'll see you at the next stop at Martin, all right? Thank you, guys. Russell Weldon, Tommy Bass, come on over here, boys. I see you putting eyeballs on them. You know what? It's going to slow them down. I, mean, I think lower weights the longer you wait back there. But you got 1633. Is that about what you thought? It looks like you're going like, man, I thought we had about 15 pounds. I thought we had about 13. <laughs> <laughs> you're a, he's a horrible guesser. That's right. At least he's guessing on the right side, though, huh? That's good. Good job. You happy with that? Yeah, yeah I need it. I'll, I'll drop it a pound if you want. No, no. All right. We'll see you. We'll see you, Martin, guys. Thank you. Garrett Warren, Dan, Danny Warren. Let's see what you got today. I see five. That's a good thing. Oh, I wish uh, we we lost a couple of fish in the morning that hurt us. Hurt us, but would have made a difference. Oh yeah, it's it's Lay Lake. I mean, they find a way to come off, and we fished hard all day, and we had a great time together, and that's really what it's all about. It's just being together and having a good time, and trying our best to win, and didn't get it done. So. Hey, Fourteen thirty-three is nothing to be ashamed of. Good job, guys. We'll see you at the next stop. Excellent job. Keith Youngblood, Carl Youngblood. Come on over here. Hanging back, drinking them Mountain Dews. You got over 15 pounds. Good way to start your season. 1531. Yeah, uh, actually, my little brother's a heck of a spawning fish fisherman, so uh, we got on some spawning fish. And so that's telling me that you're saying that you're not so much. Well, um, the camera boat will prove that. Um, <laughs> they were, we have witnesses? Yes, we have witnesses. I think they have film, unfortunately, but... Uh, it was funny. They came up there, and I lost a big, well, it wasn't a big fish, but I lost a fish, and then they left, and then I caught the fish. So you got to work on the pressure side of things. Yeah, I'm not too good there, but uh, my little brother carried me today. All right, keep that mental approach going. 1531, good job, guys. Hey, there's a Honda Odyssey, a green minivan. If you have that Honda Odyssey, and I know you don't want to say, oh, that's me, I'm the one, you're blocking it so the guys cannot turn around and get into the area that they need to. So if you have a green Honda Odyssey, we know it has to be somebody here. If you would, just please move it. Uh, no problem. We're not going to arrest you, but they might actually have to tow it if it's not parked in a parking spot. So that does give them reason to be able to tow it, and then you have to pay that whole thing, Caden, and you know that doesn't want to happen. Hunter Gibson, Caden Sinclair, looks like 1283. That's not what you were wanting or expected today, is it? No, they, they're they eating weird today in the grass, swim jig. They were just missing a lot. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of horror stories today, but, I mean, we had a good day. How many fish you catch? I didn't catch a whole lot, maybe seven or eight, but missed. Mm, there's no telling. I can feel your struggles today, though. I know you all ready to get off the stage, get back out there. Caden Sinclair. A big stick here on uh, the Alabama Bass Trail. Look for him and the, the remaining four stops. Cody Farr, Rusty Mash, you got 1364 to start your season. Yeah, that's a lot more than we thought we'd be having today. <laughs> then you can walk away here happy and look forward to Lake Martin, guys. Thank you very much. Let's move on to Lamar and Zach. Lamar, Landreth, Zach Hester. Got five fish. That's what I like seeing because if you got that limit, I know there's a chance you could move up that leaderboard. That's right. you got to have five to have a chance. All right, and these five are going to weigh 1459, just shy of 15 pounds. All right, that's good. Look, look good in your ABT gear doing it, too. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. Get toasty wearing the black today? Not too bad. I know. They breathe well, don't they? Thank you, guys. Scott Dupree, Mark Smith, come on over here. Tell me you got 18 plus and you're going to take the lead. Not today. Not, not today, at least. I like that. He's like, not today. But another day, it could happen. You got three bass. It looks like 791 is your total. We'll have to see you do better at, at Lake Martin. 
Again, that was boat number 30 that coming across the scales. 225 boats left this morning at about 6, what, 6, 5 this morning, 6, 10. Joey Adderhold, Jonathan Collins, where you at? Why are y'all hiding behind me? I know we talked about you. He's like, uh, I'm hiding because I didn't quite get 15 pounds. That's what, did you have a target weight today? We, we weren't 15 pounds. You got just shy of that 1451 today. That, that's better than nothing. Uh, my partner here, I don't know what he did, but he caught three fish before I even knew what was going on. Man, you need to put the snacks down, man. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to learn. I need to learn how to dip your net. netting skills. Oh, it was awful today. So, but, but you did catch them in the net. Yeah. Then you caught those fish. Good job out there. Congratulations. They do allow uh, nets being uh, to scoop them up there. Chris Mason, Jeremy Mason. You know, y'all had a pretty good day today. Fourteen and change. Looks like fourteen, sixteen officially. Yeah, well, I, it'd have been nice to have done a lot better, but I mean, we're, we're grateful to get what we got. Did you have some bigger ones on? No, but we had some better bots. Okay. Well, the execution was there, at least. At least you didn't lose any. Good job, guys. Starting your season. Todd Sharp, Mike Fessler. Sharp Fessler, come on over here. Going away a big fish. They got five fish. You got enough to take the lead? What, 18 and a quarter? No. But you got one good one? We got one decent. Who caught it? I did. You did? What you catching on? Swim jig. Swim jig. Any particular brand, color? No. No? Just average swim jig. Swimming it long. Floating in the water. Dragging it along. 1536, your five fish total, but let's find out the big bass. Will the big bass take over the lead? McKellar and Curlington have 649. You got a six and a halfer? I don't think so. Okay, let's find out. No, you got over a five and a halfer. Looks like 577. So that's a good bass. Take it. What time of the day do you catch it? Uh, I guess about 1130. Okay, midday probably. Good job out there. Congratulations, guys. You didn't want to picture that. Now you were standing there. Dan O'Sullivan, you know, he's taking it all in with the Advanced Angler. You might have seen his website, also his Alabama Bass Trail. Got his flip-flops, his son. He's actually going to get sunburnt watching the weigh-in today. Matthew Brown, Jeremy Lazari, catching some sun out here. Why, why are you hiding? You know they're going to, they're just going to shrink. You know the program. You weighed over there. Looks like you got 11.98 today. Yeah, it was a tough day for us, but we caught a few. It happens. Good job on catching those. Thank you, sir. Move on to our next pair, Daniel Sims. Looks like Dwayne Harris want to come across stage because you know every point counts and you got one bass on there and that could be the difference between making the team championship and not. When did the one fish that you caught, when did you catch it? About 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, so fairly early this morning. I know y'all were hoping for more. 124, let me scoot on up here so they can walk behind you. 124, but that could be the difference at the end of the year. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you there at Martin, right? Yes, sir. All right, turn it on there, guys. Thank you, guys. All right, John Bryan, Mason Bryan, come on over here, little big man. I saw you at the weigh-in yesterday. I said, are you fishing? You go, yep. Today, were you catching? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I like that. He's a pretty good fisherman. Oh, yeah, better than me. How old are you? Twelve. How long have you been fishing, 13 years? <laughs> Since I was three. Oh, come on now. I tell you, you've been, you've been catching a little swimmer. 522 for you today. That's right. Did you catch them all? Mostly. Did you have that? Mostly all. <laughs> So does that mean you got one out of three? Yeah. Two out of three? Yes. How can it be one and two? <laughs> we got to work on the math skills. What grade are you in? Twelve. Twelfth grade? <laughs> you are a small twelfth grader, but I mean, it's all right. Part of the football team. Sixth grade? Yes. All right. Hey, good job. Hey, high five. Your first Alabama Bass Trail fishing with us, right? Yes, sir. Who's your favorite angler of all time? Uh, Gerald Swindle. I'll tell him you said hi in a couple of weeks to Bassmaster Classic, all right? Hey, good job. Your total, I told you that, right? I'll see you at Martin. You going to do better in Martin? Oh, yeah, that's our luck. Better in Martin. That's your backyard. We'll see it. All right, thank you, guys. Good job. Hey, let, let, let's bring on a little guy up here. Come on over here, Gentry Gordy and Chad Smith. I'm looking for big weight 1670 is what I see that you got across there. It was a pretty good day, just a little shy of the lead. Yeah, well, everything changed from yesterday. Um, Threw a rattle trap all day yesterday and never got bit, and that's the only thing we caught them on today. So. Really? So reaction bite out there for them. Uh, so did you you had to change it up because your primary thing wasn't working? We did. Uh, we struggled at first, and uh, the camera boat pulled up on us, wind up catching our biggest spot of the day. And then as soon as they left, we had to call Clay because we got stuck on the bottom, so I had to push first thing this morning. <laughs> Pretty shallow water then. Who's this with us? This is my son, Casey. Hey, you, you ready to go out there and fish on the Alabama Bass Trail one day? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How old are you? Four. Four. Do you fish now? Mm -hmm. You want to hold up a big fish for us? Mm -hmm. 
All right, go grab a couple of those bass. Hold them up for us, guys. 1670 for uh, Gordy and Smith. Four year old in there. There's five bass in the live well. <laughs> he goes, That's a heavy one. And Gordy and Smith, 1670 should put them actually right around the top three as it stands right now. 1828, our leader. Woo. Hold them up there for uh, Kay. Dano straight in front of you. We're motoring through this. I'm going to have to drink me a Mountain Dew or two here in just a bit. Still looking at our Mountain Dew Big Bass, 649. Our big fish of the day, McKellar and Currington. As we bring on Team Williams, Kevin Williams, Jimmy Williams, see if they've got enough to take the lead today. Come on over here, guys. That's the big question. You have enough today. Definitely not. Not today. Not today. You got five bass. Oh, I like seeing that. We got to re, we zero the scales. Drop those bass in there. You do have at least thirteen. Looks like thirteen, nineteen. Better than I thought we had. <laughs> what do you think you had? About eleven. Oh, well, two pounds better. That's that's a good thing. It's better better than having nine. Thinking you had eleven. Tony Hogan, Vernon Ward, come on over here, fellas. Back at it. Was that Blazer hauling Boutte down the lake today? We pretty much flew this morning. We, uh, <laughs> that, that Evan route to run about 80, 81 miles an hour, you know, fully loaded, so it'll run. Get on it. Let's find out what you got today. 13 even for you today. Was that about what you expected after practice, or? We, uh, I actually come up here last week, and we didn't get to come all week, um, so we just kind of had to go on a thing, but I noticed the water dropped about a foot from last week, six inches to a foot from last weekend, so we just kind of went fishing and did what we could do. Got 13 pounds. Thank you, guys. We'll see you at Martin. Gilliam and Parker, Jeff Gilliam, Vince Parker, looking to... Throw some fish on the scales. Going to have 10, going to have 11, going to have over 12. Looks like 12.25 for you today. I know you're hiding from me. You know I'm coming straight for you now. Step up here. How'd it go? Uh, not too well. Uh, not too bad, though. 12 something. That's right. That's right. You ready to fish, Martin? We're going to give you that opportunity, you know. We're ready. You're ready. All right. We'll see you there, guys. Thank you. All right. We're going to hold off for just a bit. Again, uh, looking back at the what it took to win back in 2014, Chris Rutland, Kobe Carden had 20 pounds. 20.6. They come back the next year with 24.64. Then Headley and Goggins, who we already saw across the scales today, had 25.29 back in 2016. Yes. Nick Harris, Keith Phillips, 17.63 last year. Last year it took 17 pounds. So we're already over that today, and we've only weighed in oh so many. Tommy Liverett and uh, Sean Kendrick, come on over here, guys. I know that's not what you were looking for today. Looks like the official total is going to be 367. What happened on the water? Well, I was 100%. I got one bite, caught one fish. Hey, that's execution right there. That's right. How about yourself? What were y'all throwing? Cranks. Cranking the whole day? And jigs. What's your name? Asher. Yeah? Did you have fun today? Yeah. Yes. You having fun on stage? Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? All right, we'll see you up here fishing one day on the Alabama Bass Trail. All right, I'll see you again. Bye. We'll see you later. Kyler Godwin. Alan Bearden, come on over here. God, what are y'all watching? What's going to happen over there? That's the last time you get to talk to me because you got 1288, so not, not too bad today. 1288. How many Alabama Bass Trail events have you fished? This is the first one. So how, how's your, uh, what do you think about the outcome so far at the first stop of many? I liked it up until lunch. Yeah? And that's when they shut off? <laughs> that's when they shut off. Somebody turned it because they were pulling water? What happened? I don't, I don't know. I don't. It, it shut down for you today. What were y'all throwing? Uh, swim baits and uh, swim jigs. Good start, though, guys. Congratulations. Way to get it going. We got 1288, I believe, unofficially. Get your ticket at the end. Waylon Mullis. It looks like Ridge Mullis. Come on over here. You don't have to wait for me to call you. Y'all just come over here and start talking to me. But y'all look good. Y'all are dressed sharp. Thank you. Thank Looking you. really good. Guy Co. Local Offline. We got, what, Woods and Water here. Alabama Truck Service. You're doing it right. Yes, sir. All right, let's find out. What was your total? What was their total? You know what? Did you see it? Did you, 915. So I know you can do better than that. Yes, sir. We'll see you do better than that at Martin, right? Yes, yes sir. All right, what's his hat? What does that represent? Duncanville. What is it? Duncanville. Duncanville? Baseball. Baseball. That's, that's a high school I went to in Texas. A little different colors, though. But, yeah. hey, good job. What position do you play? First baseman. Lefty? Get on it. I'll see you at the next stop. Thank you, guys. Grab your ticket at the end there. Again, everything I say I want to let you know is officially unofficial. 
I could say you got 20 pounds. If you only got 12, that ticket will prove me wrong, okay? So that ticket's what says it. But if you do see a discrepancy in what I say to what you see, I know you'll be the first one to tell me, or him one, will be the first one to tell me I'm wrong. Let's find out what Derek Hutchins and Xavier McKinney have. You got five bass, looks like 1347. But did you have fun today? Yeah, we caught a lot of fish. Uh, you know, just couldn't get a good bite. Uh, you know, it was just one of those days. Probably caught 20 fish. That's a good day of fishing, just not the right size. That's right, the right size. We're going to try it again. Though. Get bigger at Martin. Get bigger at Martin. All right, we'll see you there, guys. Thank you. Buck McDonald, Travis Northy. Good job. How'd it go today? Good, I reckon. Really good? Nah. Okay, well, let's find out. Pretty fair, though. Over 15, that's a good start. 15 will get you probably in the top 20 right now. 15 11, it looks like your official total. Uh, we'll, we'll take it after today. Good job. We'll see you, Martin. Thomas Eden, Joe Williams. I see two bass in there. You know, I'm looking over there. I'm hoping to see five. It just wasn't happening today, huh? Just wasn't happening at all. What happened? It just practice was a lot better. <laughs> what were you doing in practice? What were you throwing? Just swim jig. Swimming a jig. You got 262 today. And what'd you do today? Same thing. Swim jig. Do you, don't you know you change it up when it don't work? Make it adjust. You've got mail. All the old people go, I know what that was. That wasn't the right sound. Raise your hand if you got AOL mail. If you have AOL, raise your hand. I'm the only person that has AOL. You did too? <laughs> See, we're the only ones brave enough to say it. I guarantee you there's at least five, ten people out there that still use AOL and nobody, everybody's ashamed of it, like Gmail some better product or something. I got that too. John Murray still uses it. And Skeet Reese still uses AOL. Good job for Skeet. Now everybody's going to be trying to pirate his uh, email account now that we let it out of the bag there. Thank you, Nano. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to wait till things get, get settled back up here. We got a uh, battery backup for our equipment up here, but my microphone does not. Ooh, can you grab me one of those things? That's, that looks delicious. I'll, I'll do a cold one a little bit later. That, he cracked that thing open. That was, I mean, that you know that sound you hear in the commercials when you open up? That Mountain Dew sounded good. We good, Clay? We're good. We good. All right. Oh, somebody pinched the electrical cord. It had a kink in the hose. Got that fixed. All right, Bobby Brown is his prerogative. And Eb, is it Balula? Balala. 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 I got to get it. Oh, thank you for that Mountain Dew. All right, so I got to remember that one because it looks like Balula, but it's Balala. <laughs> 18 pounds is what I'm looking for today. You got over 10, got over 11. And obviously, not what you were wanting as far as uh, to win this thing, but 11.74, not a bad start. Uh, this is the first time we fished uh, Lay Lake, so... It's that, that's all right. Yeah, it's not bad at all. How many fish you catch? I uh, caught four. Okay, how many are you? One. Okay, so there's your five. You got your limit. High five. Good job. First time in Lay, you catch a limit. That's how you do it. All right, let's bring up our next pair. Jack Tibbs. Jack Tibbs, Josh Allman. They got five bass. I like seeing that, but I look over there, and those aren't the five big bass you were looking for, was it? No, it wasn't. No. Let's find out what these five will weigh. It looks like 1361 in your program. How are you catching them today? Uh, square bills on the river. Bumping stuff? Bumping. Bumping all of the time. And uh, How many total fish you catch? Probably 20. It's a good day of fishing. Good job out there. Uh, grab your official total. looks like 1361 for your total there, and we'll double check down there at the bottom. Y'all want to hear this sound that I was talking about? Let's see if it'll happen. I got to hang on. Let's see if I can get this. Yeah. I, I know there's some people going out there going, man, that's not the, that Mountain Dew sounds not what I was thinking about when I heard that. Thinking about a frothy adult beverage, but it's going to be delicious going down. 
hits. Ooh, it sound like we got a little angry baby over there. Not happy. Daddy must not have caught a big bass. We talk about the big bass. It's our Mountain Dew big bass, extra $500. We've got, if we want to really give somebody a hard time, we get our Mountain Dew, uh, Diet Mountain Dew little bass. Nobody wants to win that event, but you know, there could be somebody up here with an under pounder and that would do it. You don't have an under pounder, do you? No, I don't think so. I hope not. That's good. That's good. Sometimes they can sneak through the basket. How did your day go out there? Oh, it was interesting. Uh, we had a bunch of bed and fish, but they wouldn't lock down, so we wound up just flipping the day out. So you spent a lot of time looking at fish today? Too much time. Yeah, and you had to make the change. So how late did you stay looking at bass, and how many did you catch doing that? Uh, we caught three bed fishing, and then uh, we went out to... Till it took until how long? About 10, 11 o'clock. Okay, not too bad then at least. And then you did what? Flip. Flip. How many did you catch then? Uh, two. Better size, or same size. Better size. So if you'd have been flipping all day, you both one. You both sixty-seven. Yep. If you'd have been flipping all day, might have been. Oh. I got that one. They're, they're that still was there. I didn't ever hear their weight. They're in the basket. Okay. That was. Okay. Yeah. Good deal. When you say no, 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 I was like, hang on, before we get them dumping in there, make sure we got our baskets in order. Had to reboot our system out there. You know, sometime run out of. Electricity, 1225. Now, now, why is that special to you? Uh, we had 1225 last weekend on Mitchell. <laughs> Very consistent. Yeah, I would say so. What are you going to get at Martin? Better be more than 1225. I'm uh, looking for 15. You need 2512. There we go. Do it. All right, we'll see you there, guys. Thank you. Robbie Lee, Jimmy Calhoun coming up next. Five bass. I'm looking for 18 pounds. Not going to get 18, no, but where is it going to put them at the end of the day? Almost 10 pounds. It looks like one expired fish. That's going to hurt you there. 970. We drop a pound off of that, but. How'd your day go? It was long. Started started really slow this morning and then just didn't get any better. It happens. You, you like Martin? It's the first time being here, but we had a good time. Your first time being at Lake? Yeah. Oh, you did all right then. Not too bad. We'll see you at Lake, Martin. We'll see you there, guys. Thank you. Shane Thompson, Buck Williams. And we talk about this is the uh, South. It's a kickoff for all of our ABT events, but this is the Southern Division. Five in the North, five in the South. Shane Thompson, Buck Williams going to be at all five, and you need to catch five at the other five. Yeah, we didn't catch five today. You got three today, Shane. Let's find out what these three will weigh as they re zero your weight. What would you catch these three on? Swim jig. Swim jig. Any particular brand? Nah, nah. Homemade. Homemade swim jig. Let's find out. Looks like 506 your total today. Thank you, guys. And Halo representing. Give me just a second. I'm going to have a nice, cool sip of Mountain Dew. <laughs> you know, Kay, the way we can really promote I can have a Mountain Dew and some biscuits and gravy from Jack's up here. I can mow some biscuits and gravy. And that was the breakfast of choice for the Alabama Bass Trail this morning. What did I get, Dan? It wasn't a big breakfast. It was a, what was it? Breakfast special. Very economical. Less than $5. And I got biscuits and gravy, eggs, crispy bacon, grits. I forgot. Grits were like an added bonus. I was not expecting those grits. I want to tell you, when I looked down, they were delicious. My wife's a grits-eating machine. I, I usually put sugar on them, but they were good just like they were. And I know people, that's like sacrilegious, putting sugar on grits. You know, people put like salt, pepper, do whatever else. My wife puts shrimp in her grits. And then she's like Flo on Alice's show. She says, kiss my grits. Some of us older people know what I'm talking about when I say kiss my grits. There's a lot of young people who have no idea, have no idea who Flo is. They think Flo is that lady from that insurance commercial. All right, Clay, you good? We're back. We're, we're back. I thought you went to Wadawi Marine and went to check on some stuff and came back. Got your jack plate from TH Marine, E3 Sports Apparel, something like that, some AFCO gear. Let's bring on Alan Brown and Frank Henry, boat number 31. Please tell me we're not just still in that second flight. This is going to be a long day. <laughs> All right, representing Mans, I see Nolan all this. How did it go out there today, Al? Yeah, it was a tough day. We had to scrounge around and um, finally figured it out at the end. Uh, caught our best fish with about 10 minutes to go, so, you know, just too late. What, it looks like 847, your total. We'll have to see if you can do better at Martin. Thank you, guys. Move on to our next pair, Michael Holland, Joey Kaler. 
Four fish in there. Did you ever have the fifth one on? Yes. And? Got off. Got off at the boat or out there a ways? At the boat. Who was netting? Joey. What happened? He got away. The one that got away. 783. You needed that one. Get you up in that 10-pound mark, guys, probably. Thank you. Let's bring in our next pair. Brian Jones, Barry Jones, Team Jones. Come on over here. Look at me. Don't look at those. The longer you look at them, they're going to shrink. I'm telling you. They done, you done look at them too long. I looked at them way too long because they shrunk, I guarantee you. You got five in the live well, right? I wish I had. They, yeah. they really? Like oh, you got two. I thought I saw five on there. I went dyslexic for a moment. You'll see a good basket when the guy comes up behind you right here. Yeah, is it a good one? Good ones, yeah. He wouldn't let me have one of them. Real good ones? Real good ones. One that'll leak with those? No, no. Not that good. All right, we'll see. We, all right, thank you, sir. I just question. We got a 649 out there. That's our Mountain Dew Big Bass. Come on over here and talk to me. Ken Walters, Jason Beasley. I'm hearing good things that you got some good fish in there. How did you catch your bass today? I uh, caught some on a jerk bait and some on a big tube. Jerking and tubing in 1690, not able to take the lead, but that's a good start. Yeah, it was a good day. We probably caught 25 today. 25 is a good thing. Now, who caught more, you or him? I did. All right, that's what I, I felt your, I, I felt your presence. That's why I wanted to go ahead and get the lie straight from your mouth. We caught the same because he caught them in the net. Oh, there you go. Good job. Thank you, guys. Victor Harper, Blake Harper, come on. Three bass. Again, we're going to go through these as quickly and as smoothly as possible because when you got three bass, you don't want to talk to me, right? Uh-uh. All right, let's find out what you got and you can get on. 782, get on out of here. Next pair coming on up to the east side. Chuck Collins, David Pollard. They got five bass, so I like seeing that. You like seeing that too, right? Oh, yeah. We've been a little bit larger, but we're fine. You need to get a better partner. I know it. That's what he keeps saying. That's what he kept saying. Yeah, I know. That's what he said. 1374. Good job, guys. Thank you. Re-zero that scale. I'm going to have me a sip of Mountain Dew. You know, I talked about Garmin and Garmin Grand. Bring them our next pair. You don't have to wait for me. Come on. Alan Oliver. Yeah, no. You don't need to wait for me. I know you're next. <laughs> Alan Oliver, Curtis Coleman, you got five bass and 11, 11 and change, it looks like. So what we're going to see here, 1190 toe for two for your total out there. How many fish you catch today? Dozen. 12 bass. Good, good fish doing the same thing? Oh, we did about everything. All over the place. All right. Good job, guys. Thank you. Next pair, Dale Westmoreland, Lance Youngblood. You got five, right? I hope they all reach. <laughs> yeah. Only I got to be 12 inches. They got five 12 inches in there. That would be a tough thing. But look like 1347. Not a bad start. Anytime we can get double digits, we're doing a great job. That's so. wrong. Uh, Phoenix Boat, do you ride today? Good. Oh, it did great. Oh, it was, it, rough out, it was rough out there, too. And, I mean, you made that ride smooth, isn't it? Yeah. All right, thank you. Phoenix Boats, our presenting sponsor of the Alabama Bass Trail. Quite a few of them out there, an extra contingency. Phoenix First Flight, you win some extra money. You buy that boat at Wabada Alley Marine, it's even better. Josh Harrison, Zach Harrison, Team Harrison got two bass out there today. Not what you were looking at, huh? Sometimes you get humbled. Yeah, sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. Looks like 427 today, guys. Thank you very much for fishing with it. Behind Team Harrison, we bring up David Dudley. Did not know he was in our tournament. Scott McGuire, come on over here. I know that. You got the David Dudley comparisons a lot. Not the same David Dudley, but hey, you got two bass today. Two for 932, is that right? Really? You got one good one in there? Need to wait a big one. We got to wait a big. Yes, we are. 932, yeah, I think you got to wait that. Who caught the big one? Me. That's why you come close to me, huh? What'd you catch it on? A spinner bait. Spinner bait for David Dudley. How many times do people see you on the, uh, on the roster and go, are you that guy? Yeah, every time. A lot of times. It's all right. It's all right. You might have caught a bigger one than him today. Right now, our lead, 649 for our Mountain Dew Big Bass. It was 649. 681, a new Mountain Dew Big Bass. David Dudley, catch that. Go grab that bad boy. Hold it up for us. That could be an extra $500 for just doing that. Did you net it? I did. Oh, then you caught the thing. That's right. He's got to split it with you, right? Do you have a deal? That's right. All right. I pointed it, too. You, oh, <laughs> you pointed out. There it is, right there. So I guess this is a sight fishing bass? No. Why is he lying to me? Oh, he just, oh, oh hang on. Kay, Kay wants a picture. You know, she's got her, she's got her Kodak disc there ready to take him. Yeah, Polaroid's broken, so she got a Kodak disc out there. So you're saying you pointed him in the right direction. So what, right. Yeah. what bait did you use? Uh, spinnerbait. Why did you think about it so hard? Are you telling me the truth? Did you catch it with a spinnerbait? Yeah, I caught on a spinnerbait. Well, how, how? Any size? What color are we looking at? Just a half. War eagle? Eagle. War eagle. War eagle. See, I had a feeling. I had to uh, that again. What, what kind of, of spinnerbait was it? On roll tie. <laughs> oh, Alabama fan, I take it, huh? Yeah. Oh, that was tough. So I snuck an Alabama fan into saying War Eagle. Golly. 
That's good. Come on over here. Billy Smith, Brian Miller. Five bass. You know, you need 1828 to take the lead. We've got a new leader, 1833. Boom, shocking like a good job. Dang, I, I jumped into Dave Mercer all of a sudden. I, I know he says that. I jumped into Mercer. My boy's presence out there. Awesome. How does it feel to be the leader at the Alabama Bass Trail? Feels good. Feels very good. Uh, came down to the wire. Really? Yeah. Tell me about it. Uh, one of the last few casts? Uh, yeah, last two casts. Uh, flipped under a dock and had a five and a half and a four and a half. That's awesome time. Uh, so both of them, he didn't catch both of them, or you catch one? Yeah, we started early. Uh, kind of had to abandon the first plan. Uh, what was that? Yeah, water was low, and fish seemed like they pulled out. Uh, had some spots we could go catch, so I uh, figured we'd go get five and then start flipping, start finding them. Good job. Hey, grab a couple of those bass, hold them up for us. You're our new leader here at the Alabama Bass Trail. 1833. Is there a big one in there, or are they all just about similar? You don't have a eight, you don't have a... The 681 in there, do you? Mixed bag? You don't you don't think it's gonna last long? Oh, you hear that, boys and girls? Look at that. Hold them on out there. Say it's not gonna last long. Is that that the one? Is that what I'm looking at right in there? That a big one? Ooh, that's a good bait right there too. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Headache. That's what we need. We need that goodies headache powder. Good job, guys. Congratulations. Taking over our lead right now with the 1833 total. Billy Smith, Brian Miller. Can they do it with and take home $10,000 for first place prize? But they think somebody behind them has a bigger weight. We'll find out if it's these guys. Clint Miller, Jeremy Ray. They've got five bass. I, I saw something in there. Look like you did a... Had a pretty darn good day. We did. We hammered on them. Hammered on. How many total fish you catch today? 50 plus. 50 plus bass here at Lay Lake. Again, to take the lead, it's going to be 1833. We've got in the 20s now 20.19 here on Lay Lake. High five. Very nice. Oh, there you go. Good job. He's like, how about it? You knew you had 20, huh? That's right. You felt it all along. Now, what did you do? You said you caught 50 bass today. How did you catch them? What did you catch them on? Ain't nobody gonna believe it. But I will. We caught it on our my favorite bait, shaky head. So you shaky head these bad boys. What what weight? What kind of line are we looking at? I mean, how light did you go? I throw eight pound test. He throws cat gut, sixteen pound. So you, you're heavy shot. You're heavy <laughs> doing it over there, huh? But they were biting so good, I'd have to lay down in the boat to change my worm, keep them from jumping in. That good, huh? So I guess you found the place, right? We, we found a glory hole, but it's a community hole now. So many people watch us catch them. Really? Oh, yeah. How many people were around you today? I don't know. How many do you think? How many different people watch this? Probably 10 or 12. So. 10 or 12. And uh, were both of you catching them? I mean, we're literally working left or right side of the boat, front and back. How was it going? We probably doubled up about five times. That is an awesome day, huh? We had to, a couple times we had to hold one in the water when we called. So. How many, uh, do, you, do you think it'll hold on? Do you think somebody will catch more? I think 24 will take. 24 is what you're thinking. Hey, go grab a couple of these bass. Hey, hey, don't go anywhere. Go hold these bass. You're our leader right now. You got over 20 pounds. You're trying to head out of here. You want to end this tournament right now and take home $10,000, don't you? I thought it was going to be at least 18, and it was 20. 20.19. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> what, Dano? So far, we're off our weight, though. We finally got in our 20s, but... uh. All three of us guessed in that 27-pound range. So what we're going to do is find out who, who our individual day winner, and we're going to have a $5 bet for our cumulative difference from each stop. So right now, if everything's under that, you're going to be our, our day winner and our cumulative difference winner. $20, and then, and then five, $5, we can do that too. That'll be 15 extra dollars. That's too much mathematician. Hey, good job, guys. You're in the lead. Stick around. Dan will still talk to you, too, if you win this bad boy. Thad Tall, David Talley. Somebody's got to follow that 20-pound uh, weight. You're the ones. You got five bass. You got up there in the 20 range today? No. Not today, at least. No. We threw in practice and today you'd have 20? Nope. Still not? Nope. Do you not practice? Yes. Oh, okay. Just not that good, huh? Nope. You're a better fisherman than that. What happened? I uh, did not catch them. 13.33. The camera boat came in on us, and we didn't have a bite after that. 
They've been known to jinx. No, it has nothing to do with that. You know as well. 13-33 today, guys. We'll see you in the next round. All right. Is it Michael McGo? McGuff? Magoo. All right. I'll remember that one. That one. Mr. Magoo and Sean Lewis. 14 77. So almost into that 15 pound range. And uh, did you have any objective? Did you have a, a total you wanted to get today? Uh, I was aiming for 13 pounds. Did it? <laughs> yeah. We, uh, yesterday's first day we came up here and practiced. And um, so we didn't have a good practice yesterday, but we came out today and got on some good ones. So. People helping you out, extreme heating and air? Yes, sir. That's the way to do it out there and learn how to. How about Ken Service Center? Oh, yeah. You can call them at 334 537 4078. That's right. All right. Good job. Thank you, guys. Gabe Aldridge, Wes Wiggins, come on over here, show me, tell me something good. I see one good one. It wasn't bad. I see a couple good ones in there. You got over 15, looks like 1565. It's extremely adequate. Yeah, we ain't complaining. We had a tough practice, so. Yeah, so, so you are happy about that 15 pound bag. Absolutely, that was a bonus. Good job. Move on to our next pair. We're now in sessions. Ken Sessions, Greg Sessions. Got four. Man, I was looking for five. It was tough. It was tough. Yeah. I told him not to hurt his back when he picked that up. I yeah, I shut up. The struggle's real having to lift those four bass up. Yeah. Let's find out. These four weighing 517. Should we weigh one for our Diet Mountain Dew uh, smallest. smallest? Yeah, yeah. No, we won't do it, but you do have our lead right now. Good job. We'll see you at the next round. Cody Harrell. Let's find out. Ryan Schroeder. Next up on the fish's right. How'd it go for you today? Come on over here. How'd it go for you? Tough. Tough. Oh, we got the Southern Land Brokers. Got your Alabama Bass Trail gear on her. You're saying tough. You caught over 11. Looks like 11.89 total. Did you did you fish solo or did you have a partner? Uh, he's, he was too embarrassed to walk he's up. He's too embarrassed. That's all right. Hey, you almost caught 12 pounds. Hell, if I caught 12 pounds today, I'd be happy. All right. Dusty Jordan and Alex. Is it Bowden? I, 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 you, 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 you put it to me yesterday, but yeah, but there was somebody else and his name was looked like Bowden, and I'm like, oh, was it him? Bowden. So here's the one that looks like Bowden, but it's not. Jordan and Bowden, he got 942 today, uh, just not, not the day of fishing you were hoping for. No, it was tough for us, but we're going we gonna to make up for it next year. Tear it up at Martin. We'll see you there, guys. Thank you. Next up, Larry Bullock, Roger Caldwell. Come on, Roger. Roher, as they call him in Mexico. Roher. Isn't that, is that what they call it in Mexico? Yes. Go to a Mexican food restaurant. Whatever you say. Yeah. El Jefe. You've been to Mexico. Like, you haven't been to Mexico? Oh, that, everybody calls him Rojer. Like, like, well, it depends which side you went on. You've been in Mexico. You snuck into the I, I could see. Did you catch any fish when you went to Falcon? I didn't hear you. Did you catch any fish when you went? Caught 11 pounds. Ooh, that's a big fish. 13.98 for Bullock and uh, Caldwell. Not... Not going to put you up on the top of the leaderboard, but it's a good start for the season. We're happy. We we started out real slow. We didn't really catch anything to 1230. But you still, and I know I say this, you look good no matter if you're catching them or not in that Alabama Bass Trail gear. That's what my wife says. I, and that's why she keeps dressing you day after day. Nicholas Turner, Joe Lay, big sticks of the Alabama Bass Trail, and we might have enough to take the lead or not quite. Looks like 1853 moves them into second place. Good job. Way to start the season. Uh, we just got lucky. We fished hard all Shut day. up. You don't just get lucky. Yeah, we did. We caught them on three different baits. And just... That's not lucky. That's called execution when you can make that change and still catch them. Uh, we didn't really have nothing going in practice. We just knew area we always fished in the past, and we just put our head down and worked hard. Junk fishing. What's your name? Natalie. Do you fish? Occasionally? Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. How, what's your biggest fish? Show me size, size-wise. How, how big is it? Um, About that? About two, three pounder, four pounder, about a nine pounder. That, that's the way to do it. You got to go. You got to say big, and that way we do it. Hold up a couple of those bass. Hold them up for us. You want to hold a fish? No, 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 no. The little girl said, "I do not want to do that." Turn and lay. You want to? I'm saying. Yeah, I was gonna say you're five. More than that. I'm closer to five and three quarters. So I got five eighty three. Where were the other four? Where were the other four? That's what you needed. Yeah, of that size. I said, then then we're talking, right? Yeah, Turner and Lay, uh, look for them. We're going to be in the hunt for the Alabama Bass Trail Anglers of the Year. Each and every round. What's your favorite sport? Dance. Dance? You, you, you go to dance class? Yes, sir. Yeah? How about Pops? Is he a good dancer? 
get all, get all the skills from mom? Yeah, he said, no, no, no. I was like, we're going to make him dance the next stop. How about that? We should work on a dance move for him, and then we'll come back, and then we'll work on it in Martin. Jim Beavers, Tim Miller. You got any dance moves you want to show me? How'd it go today? Good? You caught a lot of fish? How many is a lot? Uh, Fifteen. That's a lot of fish. These five are going to weigh 1337, so not too bad. Not bad. Not bad. We'll see if you can increase that in Martin. We'll see. Come on over here, guys, and move on to our next pair. I'll drink to that. Justin Davis, David Sneed. We got three fish. We got three people up there. Who's this with us? Uh, I'm David. You're, no, no, I'm saying, who's this? This is Blakely. I was like, you can't have three people in the boat, but... Uh, yeah, you got there. I mean, we do have a canine uh, competitor that's in there. You got three fists, Davis and Sneed, 580 for you today. They, they're going to have to do better at Martin, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If they want to win. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know how much they get if they win? A lot of money. $10,000. Yeah, she's like, Dad, you got to get on it. Shane Wallace, Anthony Colley. Is it Coley or Colley? Coley. Gotcha. Got five bass today. Are they five good ones? Uh, they're decent. Decent, extremely good. Man, you don't have very high expectations. You're going, well, oh, they're decent. They're, they're good for us. They're, they're also good enough to put you in the top five right now. 1782, not too bad. That's really good. I want to shake your hand because you were slow playing that one. Is, is he the reason you didn't have 20 pounds? Uh, he could be. Yeah. He went and tried to flip one up, and he couldn't get one. one oh, really? <laughs> eh, it happens. It happens. Good job, though, guys. Way to start your year. Clay Harris, Stephen Turner. You got a single bass. I know you didn't want to come up here with that, but uh, that could be the points that put you in that championship. I agree. If you wanted to watch a train derail just north of here, it happened for about the last three hours. Really? Really? What What? What did you do wrong? Um, didn't put the fish in the boat. So you had them on? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We had a, I don't know, one six plus and a couple fours close. Went to the same place we went in 2016 and had 21 pounds and... He just derailed. I know uh, Traver Tackle is one of our new sponsors. Did you have a Traver Tackle hook on? No, I left him in the truck. My bad. <laughs> Three forty-seven. Three forty-seven. And that's not what time it is. That's what you caught. It's three forty-five. Actually, I was really glad. I was like, you know what? It is probably pretty close to me. Three forty-seven. Three forty-seven. That's your weight. Yeah, hey, hey, the man knew he screwed up. I mean, what are you going to say? He knew he messed up. All right, Barry Isbell, Bobby Freeman. I know it's got to be tough fishing with this guy all day out there, but how did it go? You got 16-14? We had a good day. He, 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 you see how he's trying to distance himself from you. I, something happened in that boat today. He kicked my tail. Did he? Yeah. How come I'm not talking to you? I, you need a better partner. It just happens that way sometimes. It happens. Like I said, sometimes you're the hammer to the nail. You were the nail. I was the nail. Hey, we'll see it, Martin. Thank you, guys. Timothy Hatcher, Shane Underwood, they're coming up next, and they got a good bag of fish. Let's find out what he's five way. 1806. Nice job, a top five. How about round ball trees, guys? We got a lot of sleepers out there. Did you think you'd catch 18 pounds before today started? Well, we had an opportunity to have a little bit better bag, but uh, we it's thought. Better than that. Yeah, we thought we could have a little bit more, but it's just one of those days of fishing. So uh, some, some of the bass got off, I guess? Yes, a few of them. Mm, it's tough. All right, good job out there, over 18 pounds. Hey, grab a couple of these bass. Grab a couple, hold them up for us. How are we looking back there? Everybody in line? We solid? Good job. Austin Black Bears won baseball. They come, how many runs down? They were six runs down, and Austin Black Bears came back to win it against who? Against who? Muscle Shoals. You know they can know how to play baseball. Oh, my goodness. Kim, I got to talk to you in just a little bit. Yeah. Hey, let's bring up our next pair, Austin Lang, Michael Vinson. Bring it on up here. You got 14.03 for you today. Not too bad. Not too bad. Did you, you, you look at him like, I thought I had 12. Uh, no, I thought that was, we had what, 11 and a half? So you didn't even think you had 12. No, scale's off. <laughs> hey, let's bring these fish back and reweigh them. He thinks that that was too much weight. 
Click it. Click yeah. It. Click it. Hey, how'd you catch him today? Uh, he caught him. How'd you catch him today? Him driving the boat. Putting really? He put you on the spot? Yep. We got to work on your execution. Uh, well, we just, we played fly by sea of the pants. We, our uh, water dropped, so fish moved, and we just went junk fishing. I had to put you in a, like a TMZ tour bus, and like, okay, here we go. That's over there. That's over there. Good job, guys. Thank you. Scott Parkerson. Scott Parkinson, uh, Richard Chavez, ready to run, aren't you? You say it. I do not want to hear my 389 called out. Hey, way to come up on stage. The first stop, you only got up to go from here, right? Good job, guys. Keith Mayfield, Daryl Adams. Now I see Andre back there. I didn't even see him hiding. Keith Mayfield, Daryl Adams, you got five bass. Are they the right five? One, two, three, four. Negative goes right out of the pattern school, 11.36. 11.36. What happened today? We didn't get six bites. <laughs> A Alabama Bass Trail looking good on your shirts there. You know, you got, you're dressed up good. You know, that'll win you some extra money. If. It ain't today. Yeah. Well, Martin, it won't be too long from now. Good job, guys. Looks like some uh, clouds starting to roll in a little bit. Hopefully it won't dump on us. Come on over here, sir. Anthony Hawkins, Cameron Isbell. Why are, you, why, why are you eyeballing it over there? You know they're going to shrink. You keep looking. They look, they look pretty small. 962. They're going to make sure you don't. You say, no, don't pull one of them out. No, it, we had a good one in there, but we missed a few, and so couldn't get them in the boat. It happens. It happens. Thank you, sir. Steven, is it Yerke? Scotty Carr? Come on over here. Quit looking at him. Come on. Talk to me. You drop them in there. You can go ahead. As soon as that guy clears, you can go ahead and head out of here. How was it today? Rough. Lake Martin Building Supply, you know, they're representing you. They're wanting to see big things out of you at Lake Martin. That's right. 11.92 for you today. You okay with that? Yeah, we're good. That's what you got. Good job. Thank you. Noel Taunton, Steve Bridgman, you got five bass. I'm looking. I haven't seen them yet. Little dinks. Yeah, I see it. Dinks. Yeah, sorry. How many told you catch? Uh, six. Six. Six, four, how much? How much are you going to weigh? Give me a guess. Six and a half. Six and a half, how much? Yeah, six and a half. All right. Five fish for six and a half pounds. That might that might get our Diet Mountain Dew small bass. 7-Eleven. It's a great convenience store, and it's what you got today. Dole, Steve, we'll see you at Lake Martin. Thank you, guys. Zach Thaggard, Jody Thaggard. We'll see you at five. You did your part there. Yeah, it was tough. Is that when it ended, uh, the good part? <laughs> we lost two good ones. And you look tired. Yeah. You look beat up from the feet up. Yeah, we've been sight fishing pretty much all day. Mm. 1420, did you see them? Yeah. Just couldn't get them to bite? Oh, we caught everything we've seen. Oh, that, yeah, just wasn't quite enough. A couple, you know, throwing a frog. Mm. Blow up, couldn't get a stick. Good job, though, on that day, guys. 1420, thank you. Jay Smith, Travis Wyatt. Come on over here, James, show me. Show me what you got today. You got four bass. Did you ever have the fifth one on? No, sir. No, not at all. No, sir. No bites? We got some bites. What were you throwing? You didn't get out of here. You didn't even go to tell. He's like, I was just shy of one fish. Who what was it? Randall Carter Custom Lou. All right, Randall, appreciate you saying that. Randall, Randall should have dialed you in a little bit better. I, the, she'll get you your ticket uh down there, guy. Randall hadn't crossed the stage yet. Randall probably holding on to that special color or something they got, you know. Keith Kirkley and Jeff Kirkley, you got a pretty good day today starting off your season. Looks like 1545. Not a bad way to start the year. That was the hardest five fish I've ever caught in my life. Really? Yes. Why? We didn't start catching them good until about 1 o'clock. Turned it on then. Yeah, and we caught all five then. Good job. Hey, good start. Charles Beach, Chuck Beach Jr., come on over here, guys. Whole family is coming up here this time. Hey, that Mountain Dew's delicious, isn't it? You got one too? You all hopped up on Mountain Dew? Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, how'd it go today out on the water? And it was tough, but you know, we got a few. Uh, not as many as we wanted, but. Okay, let's find out. Oh, y'all had a real good day. Looks like y'all gonna move up. Oh, just shy of second place, but moving into third. Beach and Beach, 1849. Hey, that's pretty good. You got a big smile on your face. That, that could be some extra cash. Do you fish a lot? Uh, yeah, I fish with him. You fish with him? Did you tell him anything today on like suggestions on what he should do? Um, what do you think? What do you think he threw today? What do you think he fished with? I think he fished with a couple frogs. A couple frogs. 
Took a couple, though, huh? Is that what y'all were doing? No, nah, we were doing some uh, crank baiting. Cranking today. Hey, good job. Go grab a couple of those bass. Look, I go grab some of those bass. 1849, you move into the top three. Robbie, Who's this? this the future Alabama bass angler right here. What's your name? Huckababy. 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 Show him the lure. Let me see. What kind, of, what kind of lure you got? Tell me about this lure. It catches. What? Catches a what? bass. Catches a bass. I don't want to eat it. That's pretty cool. A little swim bait, yeah. Do you fish with that? I got a rod and reel. Yeah. Tell him you got a How old are you? Mm -hmm. How old are you? Say two. 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 You've been fishing for three years. No, not yet. You like fishing? Good job. Hey, go hold up those bass. Grab one of those. Reach in there. It won't hurt. They don't have teeth. Good job today. Future of the sport right there. That's what I said. Got to hide out here because they don't want our ugly face in there in that picture. You think the rain's going to hold off for us? Looks like it's coming in. I know. It looks like it's getting a little closer. More fans starting to come in today. Spot. Keep that squeeze on. And no any headaches. Good job, guys. Moving in that top three. Parker Odom, Colton Odom, come on down. You're next. Saying rain looked like it's coming on in. How'd it go out there today? Did it? Did the weather suit your style? Well, uh, we got stuck to fishing beeswax because we blowed the motor yesterday. So. so you're all in this part or over there in the pocket? We went in the pocket. We stayed on the trolling motor all day. Uh, we lost some good fish this morning that would have really helped us, but we still, you know, to have a blow motor, we have, we did pretty good. I yeah, sometimes, uh, yeah, 1114 with a, with a blow motor, sometimes that gets you to focus and really, you know, do that and, and live on that trolling motor. I've seen it happen before, and whether it be uh, PA events, bass events, uh, FLW events, uh, how did it change for you? Did you just say, okay, now I've got to find what I can target in this area? Just about. It just... Keep your head down and grind. What'd you use? What'd you throw? We fished a fluke and caught every one of our fish on it. Good job. What color? Like pearl color? Just any shad looking color. Any shad. Any shad resembles. Good job today, guys. Congratulations on catching that. Jeff Cook, Eric Shavers. Y'all had a pretty good day. Almost 15 pounds. 14.63 is the total. Uh, is that what you thought you'd catch at the start of the day? Uh, pretty close, yeah. About that. Where are you catching them on? Uh, shaky head. Shaky head. I'm hearing that. It worked for a lot of people. Good job today, guys. Thank you. Pam Wells, Stephen Wells, come on over here. And Kusa. I talked about our canine competitor. All right. It's one of those sight fishing tournaments for some people out there. Kusa spotting them at all today? <laughs> I mean, I say this in jest. No, Kusa is not pointing them out. But uh, how did it go for you? Just let me tell you that I am extremely blessed. Um, I'm not you can do it. It's all right. I'm not going to cry. Everybody out here doesn't know, and he doesn't want anybody to know, but he's been battling cancer, and he's been doing chemo this week. We didn't even know he was going to be able to make it. I had already planned to fish alone, but that's how determined he is. He didn't want to let me down, so he's been in the boat for two days. All right, how about a round of applause for Steven? She even let me catch a bass and weigh it in. <laughs> That's pretty good because she normally doesn't do that. <laughs> yeah, I got to weigh in one. Hey, Stephen, you're looking pretty good. And I asked that last night because I saw Kay talking to you and I asked what it was all about. And, and I knew that's what kind of guy you are because uh, back in the, the Women's Bassmaster Tour, I got to see, you know, her bring her a rose to, you know, be supportive of her when she's out there. And, and y'all both support each other very well. It's by, I know this is a weigh in, but it's by the grace of God I'm even here. And it's by the grace of God that I had enough strength to fish. <laughs> And a good wife. Hey, y'all doing great. I, I want to say cancer sucks. Even my dog has cancer. So, I mean, you know, somebody somebody this morning said, I thought I wanted to go fishing with you, but I don't want to get in the boat with you. <laughs> hey, let's find out what your weight is. Hey, you don't want to hear your weight? Yeah. <laughs> it's a fishing tournament, Stephen. How many of these you been to? Well, they're going to move inside the top 10. Looks like maybe in seventh place unofficially, 18.01 pounds. And a great start. Hey, grab a couple of these bass and hold them up. I had to sit down a bunch, but by George, I, I worked the net well. Yeah, hey, you're a good netter. And uh, 
And, and Pam's done well on this lake before she qualified for the uh, Bassmaster Classic and got to fish this lake. And uh, and and one of, one of these chemos I'm taking, I'm cold and tolerant. I can't touch nothing, even re less than body temperature. So I, I got to I got to hold these fish with gloves. All right, grab him, bad boys. Did did he really catch a big one? I, I'm glad you can't let him catch a bass. I had never I've seen him come in here this team tournament, never seen him catch a bass before. Drop in there. Thank you, buddy. Hey, keep fighting. You're right. Cancer does suck. Keep fighting him. Same to you, Kusa. I don't know. If, I don't know if that. Hey, let me tell you. I don't know if that cancer would have killed me, but chemo will. It. it uh, it's unfortunate. I mean, that's literally poison that they're putting in you, trying to kill it. And I think you're doing pretty damn good. You're doing it. All right, good. Thank you. Pam Mark Wells, Stephen Wells, out there, over 18 pounds, showing you uh, how they fight through adversity. One of their better days on the Alabama Bass Trail as we take a look at Jonathan White, Chris Payne. Chris bringing the pain today, or is he not? Looks like you are doing pretty good. Good start. Looks like over 15 pounds, 15.77. Yeah, not a bad day. We suspect a little more, but uh, I tell you, that's a tough act to follow while we're just following, not just because they kicked our butt, but uh, them's good folks right there. I was talking to Pam in line, and she told her story, and, and we're all praying for them. Good yeah. thing. It, it shows you the just how small the you know fishing is. I mean, that's just a little bitty piece of uh, of life in there. What's your name? Alana. You, are you like to fish? Yes, sir. What's your biggest fish? Show me how big was it. That that big, really? I, <laughs> yeah. Get your sailfish. What are you doing out there? Hey, we'll see you out on the Alabama Bass Trail. Thank you, guys. Shane, uh, Stan Hallman, Steve Thrash are going to try and get through these a little quicker if we don't you know take the lead or another. No pictures. Eleven sixty-seven. Your total today. Good to have you back. Glad to be back. Glad to be back out here fishing this trail. It's a great trail to fish. Thank you. Good having you, bud. Joe Wyckoff, Raddy Atchison. I'm looking at a good day for you guys. We had a good day. Not too bad. Even with him as a partner, y'all did all right. That's not That's not the case. Hey, let's take a look. You got 2019 to take the lead. We've got a new leader, 2084, jumping up into the lead. I went back there. I looked at it. I thought it was going to be close. I didn't know it was going to be that close. Methylate, zoom, trick worm, is that the key? Bingo. That That's my favorite trick worm of all time right there. And uh, it's that time of year, though, right? Yeah, it's, it's definitely that time of year. I was up at Smith Lake fishing bass, and I used a methylate worm, and nobody had seen it up there. Really? I, I finished like eight. You know, uh, turn me on to that thing, uh, fish, fish burn, uh, fish sideburns. Uh, you know, he pointed me out just pond fishing one day, and I and I never put it down. You know, since then. But hey, good day in, in doing that. So give me the picture. How did you catch these bass? So let us know. Shaky head. Shaky head. Yeah. Um, what? Shaky head or thunderhead? Oh, thunderhead. My bait. So you're the designer of this bait. I'm the designer of the thunder. How's it different than all the other shaky heads? It's got a flat bottom, but it's angled back, so it doesn't hung up as much. Okay, so. And uh, what what were you looking at? Why, how, what were you trying to target? Oh, grass lines, uh, fairly shallow. Okay. Uh, what size line? Running braid with a uh, twelve braid. braid with a twelve pound fluorocarbon leader. Okay. So it was. I guess it wasn't so clear that they, you know, braid bothered them. No problem whatsoever. Hey, you got fifteen pound on. Braid and fifteen pound. You weren't messing around, huh? No. In that grass. Uh -uh. No. You don't mess around. Hey, good job. Hey, did you grab a bass yet? It's been a long time since you've been up here with 20 pounds. You need to, you need to get back in the program. Good job, guys. Got that Bassmaster Team Championship, uh, you know, patch on the side. That's what these guys have been trying to qualify for, finish, you know, high enough in the south and the north and qualify for that Bassmaster Team Championship, and that gives a qualification to the winner, to the Bassmaster Classic each year. Going to be in uh, Lake Hartwell, what, two weeks from now? Uh, two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. I'll get there on a Tuesday. Headache. I didn't see that. I know. I I, I know. We, we've talked about that before. Yeah, Lay, uh, Lay's held three classics in the past 15 years. 
And actually, that's what it'll be for, uh, for Hartwell. It'll be three in the past 15 years. Who's going to win the 2018 rendition? And just when you Kim popped up here, and Kim Baymore, where is Kim at? She was my partner. I, don't, I can't remember if it was this lake. I think it was that she was my partner on the ESPN show. And I know it was definitely at Hartwell uh, with, no, that was Byron. Oh, Kim was my partner at, uh, at the Pittsburgh round. If y'all remember the classic in Pittsburgh, we had to fight through that hill. That was, a that was the toughest classic ever. One of the lowest weights. But just logistically, that was tough. There's Kim, and get to see her. David Horton, Chad Netherton, come on over here. What did I have to get? What did I get? 734. How, how is it supposed to be said? 1734. No, no, it's, seven, it's not 17. I was like, did I mess up, David? I mean, how did I butcher it? I'm Chad. Oh, God, I got you. No, no, I'm saying it. You said I didn't butcher it up too bad. Well, how, how was it said? You done good. Oh, good. You're making me worry. I, I get nervous on that. How was it today, though, Jeff Hunt? It was tough. Tough. Had a good time, but it was tough. Did you catch more than five? Well, no. Well, I, I didn't know. You got some unders? No unders? No unders. No unders. It happens. All right. We'll see you at the next stop at Martin. Thank you, guys. 1480 is what I see for John Pollard and Dallas Weldon. Not too bad. I mean, just under that 15-pound mark. Yeah, I mean, we we did all we could do. We didn't really get on a whole lot in practice. Tried to stay shallow and go after Laura's mouth. Well, Radney and Joe bring 20 pounds of spots up here. So. <laughs> Were you around them at all? No. Oh, yeah. Go. Yeah, you said, yeah. They, they, no. No, yeah, they, they, never. They, they're draggers. Yeah, and, and it worked today. It, it did today, and and you have the option out here. Josh, Aaron, Derek Roberts, come on over here. You have the option. You you know, target spots, target largemouth. Some are maybe more consistent. Come on over here. We're gonna let's work on your mic skills. Josh, Aaron, Derek Roberts. Nine twenty four today. We tried largemouth. Tried spots. Didn't try any brim. Might have had a little better luck. Yeah, and leave it on the hook, too, for a while and see if a big one gets you go ahead to improve it, Martin. You're going to move up those standings. Ronnie Ray. Is it Jason Ninas or Ninas? Ninas. Number Ninas. Five bass in the live well today. It looked like they're all twins. Looks like five for a little over 15. Looks like 1569 your total. How would you catch them? A lot of things. Really? Junk, junk fishing? Junk fishing. Jerk bait, worm, crank bait. It worked. Bait. Worked. It works. Good job. Works. Good job. Over 15 pounds. Mark Wallace, Aaron Smith, A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron got five bass today. How'd it go? Well, I should have stayed at the house, but I drove the boat. And uh, you a great tour guide today? I was a tour guide today. You toured, you toured them up with 1276? 1276. Well, that's better than, we, we, better than 1176. You got it. Good job. We'll see you, A.A. Ron. Alton Shiver, Gary Niles, come on over here. Get your hands off the basket. They start shrinking. And you can't afford them to shrink anymore. Come on over here. How'd you catch those five? Uh, Carolina rig. Really? Frank bait. That's the key to your success. 9-11. It's great for an emergency, but not what you want here today. That's right. All right. Thank you, sir. 9-1-1. James Nichols. Skip Miley. Is that right? Come on over here. Yeah, I remember two baskets in the tank up here, guys. And as soon as I'm done with one, bring up the next. How'd it go today? Rough, 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 rough. Rough. Do you have a partner? Yes, sir. Where's he? He already loaded the boat? He's loading the boat. He better have it loaded by the time you get there. <laughs> yeah. He That's better. Right. 864 for you today. You got to do better than that at Martin. Thank you. St. Bell and St. Bell. Edward and John, they were in boat 144. Like middle of the road as far as launch uh, this morning. How'd it go? Horrible. Terrible. Horrible. 888. Very consistent. I guess so. Did you catch eight fish? One. You caught one. He caught the seven. He caught on one. You really gonna have to think about a new partner. <laughs> it's my son. You really gonna have to think about teaching him better. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Good job. Hey, hey, it's a five tournament series, right? Step it up. You got it. L.J. McCullough, Shelby Kenny Jr. Five bass alive. Well, I'll drink to that. <laughs> hey, y'all did all right. I'm not letting you have that one. I'm down in the end. Fourteen eighty-seven. Y'all did all right. Just enough to miss a check. You just, hey, even having you as a partner, you almost caught 15 pounds. That's right. I snatched two over the boat. Did you really? Yeah. That big, huh? Yeah, they're big ones. Big. Good job, guys. See you later. Shane Horton, Brandon Horton, come on. All right, what we got here? Is that FX, Custom Rods, Fish Extreme, Shane Toyota, Yamaha Skeeter? You were decked out. Looking good. Thank you, sir. Looking good. Horton and Horton. 
Dude, y'all had a really good day. You move into second place by two one hundredths of a pound, 20.21 pounds for Shane and Brandon Hart. What's wrong with your clappers, people? Get them going. If you had to turn the lights on and off by that, you'd be doing it late at night. What happened out there? How did, how did you catch 20 pounds plus? Well, we swam the jig. We found some fish on bed and messed with them. I, we thought that water was going to mess us up because it was low this morning. Then uh, once the water come back up, we was able to get back. So up. water went down and back up during the day? It did. Oh, I didn't hear that today. So, uh, so you the one eyeballing them or him? No, I was eyeballing. He was catching. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. That's teamwork, right? That's right. Almost into the lead, but uh, right now you're going to settle for second, right? You'll be okay with that if it stays right now. Let's just go ahead and call this tournament where it is. I'll take it. All right, go grab a couple of these bass. Let's hold them up. A couple different variations on how they caught their bass. Shane and Brandon Horton. Looking good. Very professional looking at the end of the day. Oh, I missed one. JB Jig. JB Jigs. Alba Bass Trout and Art and Reels. What we got? Woo Tungsten. Woo Tungsten. Yeah, look out to Dano. Bass Stangler. Ooh, about blew my knee out walking behind you. See any other big ones back there? Not yet. Oh, yeah? Let me know if you see one. You see any big ones out there? I haven't seen any big ones anywhere. I don't hang around you then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's been looking all week for big ones. I see some big ones at the Walmart. That's about the only place I've seen them, too. Y'all got that, didn't you? Greg Griggers, Barry Landrum, come on over here five bass in the live well i see one about three pounds in there let's find out what these five weigh looks like five for 1106 120 pounds was it no it wasn't but you you're over halfway there though we're getting there all right we'll see you martin next time we'll see you martin is it ashley brasher and Derek moore five bass is what i see i hadn't looked good bad ugly Oh, that's pretty good. Good. I like I like pretty good. Let's find out. It's better than pretty good. You got over 16, almost 17. 1684. How'd you catch them today? Caught them all on our Crusher Lure Shaker Head. Crusher Lure Shaker Head. You got Central Alabama Movers, Blazer, Yamaha, Atlas all uh, hooking you up, right? That's right. Doing good. Congratulations on your catch today, guys. Thank you. Ralph Pierce, Doug Johnson. Come on, guys. Hey, y'all had a good day, huh? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, day. You're like, oh, <laughs> I wish doing your dance getting up here because you... You're going to get a paycheck. Worthy. Yeah, you might get a paycheck with this weight, uh, 1608. You know, a good day today. How many total did you catch? I don't know, 10, 12, oh. something like that. Fun day of fishing. Yeah. Oh, we had a great day. And good yeah. results. Over 16 pounds. Good job, guys. Thank you, RJ Thompson, Trey Potts. Come on. Ooh, you had a good day, too. Man, it looks like a duplicate of what I just saw there. Just about a pound, pound and a half shy of that. 1466. A lot of guys in that 15 pound range. I know you want to be on the. The 40 and under side of that thing, but uh, how did it go today? Uh, it went pretty well this morning, and then it just slowed off after about 11. Because they were pulling water still? Or no? Or? We were largemouth fishing. But okay. We just ran out of water, I guess. All right, good job, guys. Over 14 pounds. Josh Heron, Jacob Heron, come on over here. Talk to me. Heron and the Alabama name are synonymous, and you got 15 15 today. So, again, at 15 mark, I think that's a, a pretty solid mark, and you did just that. Man, it would have been pretty good. We just ran out of water today. Well, tell me about it. Alabama Power on Friday night, sucking the bottom out of it. Now, I heard it came back up, though. It did. It about, didn't help you. <laughs> no, it did about 1.30. That's when all of them got caught. Gotcha. So, did it in. Good job out there today, though, guys. We'll still see you, Martin. Thank you. Say hi to Maddie for me. Let's find out what we got here. Five bass for uh, Pritchard, Pritchard, Robbie, and Lynn, but he got one expired fish. That's going to be a penalty, unfortunately. I know you're trying to keep it alive, but it just didn't happen this time. Tell me about your day. Uh, long day. Yeah. So, Hey, early, early you caught 1583s. So you did all right, but that penalty's going to hurt. Yeah, we we drew a late boat number, so we try to get her back. You know. Yeah. You did the best you could. All right, thank you, sir. Ronnie Faulkner, Michael Johnson, the sprinter. Did I see Michael Johnson at the Olympics? One of the fastest men at Baylor University. Now he's fishing. No, he's not. 383 out there today. Yeah. What happened? Slow. Slow down. What six eight inches of water? I know. I know. <laughs> Three bass today. You're going to have to do better than that at Martin. We will. I know. You got it in you. Help him out, okay? Help him out. Ken Morris, Mike Van Zant. Mark Van Zant. I don't know why I said that. I looked at something in my head, yeah. When did you change your name? I said that. I said that before. 1278, though, for you today. 
I didn't even think we had that. I ain't gonna lie. I'll change it right now. Is that okay? Oh, I'd like to say a lot more than that. Navy veteran, where'd you travel to in your in your duties? I went all over the Orient and uh, served in the Gulf War. Good. Hey, thank you for serving in uh, in our military. And uh, and uh, did you have a favorite place out of all the travels? Uh, probably Australia. I haven't been there yet, but that's where I want to go too. I, I feel you there, guys. Turn it up next time at Martin. Mike McDaniel, Dewey McDaniel. Come on over here. Tell me, eleven seventeen. See you at Martin. I will see you at Martin. I, I thought one was gonna sneak through the basket there. I know you're better than that. Yeah. It happens. It happens. Crap happens. Had, had good practice. Good practice. Don't win practice next time. No, dad, dad, gun. Fired him up in practice. And shut him. All right. Yep. Later, Bo. Bobby Fashi. Is it Foshi or Fashi? Foshi. You're so close to being Bobby Fosho. That would be good. Randall Carter, hey, somebody already uh, caught some fish. I said you needed to, uh, with using your lures, and I said they, you needed to give them a little more info. 1532, I think you might have caught a little bit more in them too out there. So what was the lure to use today for you? Uh, we caught everything on a Randall Carter custom swim jig. I knew that was coming from you, but it was a swim jig model today, right? Yeah. Any particular color? Yeah. No, I don't. You're know. lying to me, Randall. Well, there's some things you don't really want to ask. I know, but why don't you? I wanted to ask. I just I was seeing if I get a truthful answer out of it, and I'm not going to get it this time. Are you ready for Martin? Uh, What's it going to take to win there? Whoever got what kind of lure? I'm, we're going to throw them. Randall, what kind of lure? Randall Carter Custom. That's how you do it. Get on out of here, Randall. Get out. Man, you got to step up your advertisement game, Randall. Harvey Starling, Darren Gibson. Tell me it was good. Are we using a Randall Carter custom jig? Y'all yeah, were just two pounds under him. You might have, he, he, he could make a shake of head too, probably. It looks like a 1376 for your total today. And not too bad. No, could have been better. We'll see you at Martin too, right? Yep. How many total fish you catch? Oh, probably 30. Yeah. That's a great day of fishing. Good job, guys. Showing what Lay Lake's all about. Chris Miner, Eric Staggs. And who's this little Mountain Dew drinker? Let's find out. What? Do, who is this? So this is Luke. Hey, Luke. Is that a delicious Mountain Dew? So yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, looks like Luke, Chris, and Eric got 11.33 today, guys. Good job. Congratulations. Come on over here, Chris. Let's see what you got. Scott Cruz, Chris Hensley. They got five bass in the line. Well, I haven't seen them. They good, bad? Oh, they fair today. Fair to Midland. Let's find out. Over 10, over 11, over 12, 13. Oh, so close to 15, 14, 98. I know you wanted to get that 15 mark, but... Fist bumps around because y'all were glad. It looks like you're glad to get that, right? That's right. I want to also say uh, thank you to Freedom Marine and Ken Chambers for putting out having a great marina up in Albertville, Alabama, and Phoenix Boats. Thank you, Ken, for representing. And also, hey, you got a TH Marine hat on. That's right. TH Marine. There you go. That's how you do it. <laughs> Power poles on. Thomas Brubaker, Sean Callahan, come on over here and sue me. I, I can't believe you. One fish short, huh? Yeah, we had it on. It felt like a good one, but I guess it's better than three fish. Yeah, four for eight twenty-six for today. Going to have to step it up at Martin. Thank you, guys. Yeah, our, our next stop will be a Northern Division stop at Lake Gunnersville. Steve Ketchum Construction Crew of Steve Ketchum and Anthony Bowden, right? Three bass today. Three for four sixty-one. Y'all gonna step? You need to step up your big fish game. Yeah, we got to step it up big. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. Next up, Ricky. Oh, God dang, I didn't even get it out. Ricky died at Larry McDonald. Five bass. All right. Was it a good day? No, no. Why? Dropped the water this morning, fishing in mud. Yeah. Okay. So how did you adjust? I uh, just went a little bit deeper. Went a little deeper. Got 1057 out there today. But your whole game plan had it practiced pretty good up there, Shell? Oh, yeah. Got a lot of big fish. Just everything changed when the, when the water dropped. Even when uh, they, they put it back in there, did you ever go back to it or no? Negative. All right. Thank you. We got appreciate it. Jeff Ritchie, Howard Ritchie, Team Ritchie, but only one Ritchie comes on stage at any given time. We're not even sure if they're fishing as a team. They just alternate back and forth or not. Because 1249 for you today. How you feel? That's good. Yeah. yeah. After practice especially or what? After practice. Good job. Yeah. Having five is great. Congratulations on that. Foster Bradley, Clint Ellis, come on over here. Foster, let's see what you got. I'm seeing five. I like seeing that. Yeah, they're just not the right ones. Yeah, it happens. It happens. What were y'all throwing? Uh, shaky head. Shaky? Okay. I heard a lot of that today. You say it wasn't the right ones, but it's still going to get you probably just outside or right around that 
top 15 spot. Looks like 1747. Yep, 1747. Going to move you inside that top 15, I believe. Hold up. Nope. Yes. Nope. We're still holding off. Going through it. Thank you, guys. Good job. Excellent start. In top 15. Come on over here. Move on to our next pair. Looks like James Brown, Kevin Brown. No relation to Bobby Brown. Not yet. That's his prerogative. Five fish. These are not the five fish I was expecting to see today. Hey, it's a blessed day to fish. Yeah. Pray, praying for those, and you got five. We're in 871. All right, good job, guys. Going to have to turn it up a little bit at Martin. Kenny Smith, James Purvis. I'm seeing 2084 is what it's going to take to take the lead. We should have played golf today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I hear you there. I would have played. I would have played. 1248. Not going to get it done today. Hey, it's a five. It's a five tournament season, right? All right. We'll see you then. That was about 148. I heard you. <laughs> 149 next in line. Tim Peake, Byron Smith. Come on over here. Five bass. Looks like you got over 12. 1227. You know, we, we got a serious hindrance. We both have full-time jobs. Yeah, it gets in the way sometimes, doesn't it? I don't recommend it if you can get away with it. But we don't get to practice. We came over last weekend, fished a day and a half. We caught them really good. We caught what bit today. We just do it for fun. And that shows you how good you are when you can just step right in and do that. And it's still fun. Good job. Congratulations on your catch. Thank you, guys. Mike McCullers, Jason Shockley. They got five bass today, just under that 12 mark. Looks like 1166. That's the best we could do today. Then you did it. You did it. Good job. Congratulations on your catch. Come on, bring up our next pair again. Two baskets in the tank. Don't even wait for me to call you. I'll bring it up. Ryan Kaziah, Scott Cooper, you got five bass. Are they the right five? No, sir. Not today, they're not. But you did get five. Let's find out where these five go. You're right. Five weighing 731. Not the big fish. You needed one for 731 to build on that. Let's find out our next pair. We move to boat number 95, Lewis Hill, Dustin Johnson. Brought the fan club? Yeah. I, I heard the one. I heard the one. It, it's a, it's a, that is wrong. That, that is wrong, Dustin. She said it was his fan club, not yours. 945. This is a team event, isn't it? Yes, sir. How many bass y'all catch? Four. Who caught them? Both of us. All right. That's the way it works. Why are, you, why are you hiding from me? Hands in pockets all the way over here? Where were you fishing today? Uh, shake your head, mostly. Okay. You got your fan club here. Who is it? Uh, my mom and my girlfriend. Now there's two. They're building it. You better step up your game. I guess I'm going to have to. And what? And my dad. We're up to three. Stay up here another minute. You're going to have four. All right, get on off stage. Charlie Williams, Michael Smith. But 157. Dude, you had a pretty good day today. Just shy of taking the lead. The lead is 2084. You got 2072. A quarter pound hamburger from Jack's would have got you in there. You're taking the lead, but hey, good job. How about a round of applause for these guys? Over 20 pounds, Williams and Smith. Good day, huh? Absolutely. We caught one fish yesterday. And with Dowie Marine, I'm seeing that on there. You know, it, it, extra contingency maybe, I'm thinking, you know, you do so well. Absolutely. Um, tell me about today. Man, we, we, like I said, we had a terrible practice. We had no idea what to do. We caught a few fish last Sunday, so we just went back to that area and fished real slow and caught uh, two on a fluke doing it like a Senko and caught the other ones looking at them. Possibly spawning type fish and you're going into those areas and, and blind stuff or what? Yeah, the two two were blind casting, but the, the other three wave fish were looking at them. Good deal. Hey, uh, go grab a couple of these bass, hold them up for us out there. Second place right now. What a way to do it. Charlie Williams, Michael Smith, 2072, our leader right now. Joe Wyckoff, Radney Atchison. They are sweating bullets right now. I don't see them, but you know they're sweating bullets. All right, I blew through my Mountain Dew. That was delicious. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Second pay. What's second pay, Kate? Second pay, $5,000? $5,000. That'd be a good second place finish. Sun's starting to come into my left. Going to get some funky shadows here. Going to blind us. Oh. Robbie the Recycler. Keep my cans. Daniel Spires, Coleman Mosley. Got five bass. Can't even hardly see you right now. Bouncing off that water over there on the side. How was it today? It wasn't too bad. We 
We caught a bunch of fish. We probably caught 15, 20 fish. But, uh, you caught 15, 30 for your weight. Yeah, 15, 30 wasn't bad, but it don't compare to what just left. Yeah, no, it's tough following those guys. Hey, good job. Over 15 pounds. It's awesome. Keep it on moving. We've uh, weighed in 140 boats. We move on to a team that has a limit of fish for Jimmy Miller. Chris Miller. Is it Miller time? No, I don't think so. I don't know. Mountain Dew time, though, probably. You got over 15, just shy of 16, 15, 95. That's a good day of fishing. It was better than I thought it was. Might get your paycheck, too. I hope so. I feel it right now. Good job. I know you're in that top 40. Let's find out. We move on to our next pair. Again, going to keep moving through these guys as quick as uh, possible, unless you got, you know, a fish that takes the lead or a bass that take the lead in the big bass or the total. Probably not going to take too many pictures. Wayne Cox, Jimmy Harrison, you got five bass. You got any big ones in there? No, nah, not a big one, just a bunch of spots. Spot. So that was your that was your thought press. So it looks like fourteen seventy four. You said I'm going spot fishing. Yeah. Well, we're gonna catch whatever we can catch. Yeah. Yeah. They're just spawning. We couldn't find no big bat, a big large mouth, so we went spot fishing. Good job, though. Hey, almost fifteen pounds. Thank you guys. Fourteen seventy four. Come on over here. You know the program. It ain't like you ain't been up here before. DeAndre Cambro, Brunel, Bo, Quinn. You know I got it in a parentheses now, just so I can just say Bo. Bo knows fishing. He got five bass. Good day or no? Not a good day. I knew it was. He turned around. Now, nah. what would a good day have been? Uh, maybe by 18. We we had some fish on. Uh, just couldn't get them in the boat. Really? So what, what bait were y'all using? The day we're getting on? Everything. Were they short striking or you actually had them on? A little bit of both. Right. Looks like 1264 today. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. Still got four more tournaments in this south. All right. What's the picture of? Talk to me. Come here. What is this picture of? This is um, a picture my best friend drew for me. Her name's Elena White. Yeah? Chris Payne and Jonathan White, they, they fish. This is Jonathan's daughter. She's my best friend. Yeah, she drew that picture on you, trying to give you good luck. You're going to keep it in the boat for all the stops? Look, I'm going to make a copy of it, put it in my office, put one in the boat. Good job. All right, thank you, buddy. Thank you for telling me the story. Jason Hammock, is it Hammocker or Haymaker? Hammocker. I was going to say that. I thought I'd go ahead and ask before I screwed up. Y'all had an all right day today. Some peppy fish. Jason Hammocker, Adam Elliott. Looked like you had a pretty strong day, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. What'd you catch them on? Low. Did it? Yeah. Well, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Yeah. I didn't catch a fish till nine. Nine ain't bad. I mean, you only been fishing a few hours at nine. Yeah. You turn it on after that. Okay. 1751. I think that's going to throw you inside the top 15, probably right around there. That'd be okay. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. I'll take that all day. Good start, Jason. Hammaker throwing the haymaker. That's what he's trying to do. Chad Schroeder, Chase Schroeder, come on over here. Team Schroeder. All right, how'd it go? Not too good. Not today, at least, huh? No, couldn't keep him hooked up. All right, eleven fourteen. We'll see you again. Thank you, sir. Move on to our next pair. Come on over here. Talk to me. Don't wait. Stephen Denmark. Stephen Denmark. So good. You got to say the name twice. Three bass out there today. Just couldn't get four and five on, huh? Man, we couldn't catch a fish, period. Yeah. Five bites, but these three are going to weigh 784. You guys just got to turn it up at Martin. Thank you, guys. The Denmark duo. Mike Hill, Kenny Hill. Come on, Mike. What'd you get today? Give me a guess. Oh, uh, 12 and a half. 12 and a half. All right. What were you hoping for? Start of the day after practice and all. About five. Five fish, period. Five pounds. Oh, really? Was that bad? It was that bad. Hey, then you doubled that up. Looks like you got 987. Oh, you're a little over guessing just a little bit, but hey, it's all right. You got more than five. Good job. Thank you, sir. R Mark LaPlante, Randy Boyette. Come on. Straight up Southern. 1335. Looks like it's going to be your total day. Y'all pleased with that? I mean, that's all you're going to give you. Yeah, that's good for it. After all said and done? I guess that's good enough. What are we throwing? We just throw and shake your heads, uh, trick worms. Gotcha. Hey, it, it, it worked to get you that. Good job. Lowell Everett, Lawrence Curd. How did they do today? Oh, I want to see. Ooh, I saw a gut on that one bass that was back there. That was pretty good. How'd y'all do? Uh, not too good. About 12 and a half. Yeah, that's yeah. 1264, your total day. It ain't too bad. That's better than zero. You're, you're darn right there. Thank you, sir. Move on to our next boat. We go from... One boat number 140, Gary Malone, Mark Phillips. How did they do today? 
Not good, huh? I couldn't tell if that was your fish in there that I saw. The guys behind you did look like they did all right. Oh. I thought it was. Maybe. Maybe not. No, maybe not. I thought 1142 is what you got out there today. Hey, but you look good no matter what. You look really good at Alabama Bass Truck Gear. Tadlock and Frick. I thought I saw some good fish in there. I could be wrong. You know, I've been wrong before, but I, it looked like y'all had a pretty good day. No. Wasn't? I thought I saw a couple good ones in there. No. Okay. 11 or just shy of 11, 10.59 out there. What, what was happening on the water? A lot of boats going everywhere. Really messing up your area? No, it's just not very many areas left. But it's a great tournament, great day, beautiful day. Good lake. Awesome lake. Oh, yeah. Couldn't ask for nothing better. I, I, Glad I to be here. appreciate you being here. Thank you, guys. Roland Liverett. Is that right? And George Liverett got two bass. Tell me it was one apiece. Tell me you each caught. You got both of them? Yes, I did. You did it again, huh? First you just tournament. Yeah? First tournament. Not, it's not your first time fishing with him, though. Well, no. Yeah. But first tournament, caught two. You got you to gotta get, get, get him to step up his game. I see this Lake Fork lure. So, uh, you know, my, my buddy, Mr. Brown, he, he give you the scoop on what to use. Well, I asked him where my shirt was. What was it, what was it today uh, that was the key to your success? I can't tell. Yeah, you can. What did he do? What did he catch them on? Finesse worm. Nothing wrong with that. Show them how to do it. Good job. I didn't know what they were. Yeah. 1458 for those guys. That's not. There. Oh, no. For 1458 for Chris Dill and Vern Moody. They were saying, heck, yeah, I'll take 1458. <laughs> you almost got that 15-pound mark today. We almost did, but that's the way it goes, man. It happens. So so what about Martin? How many times you fish that lake in your lifetime? A bunch. You ready? No. <laughs> You're never ready for Martin, no. Wrong time of year. It's always the right time of year to go fishing. Not at Martin. Why? <laughs> That's some negative attitude you got going on right now. You ain't even hit the water, and you're already lost. You'll find out when you go down there. You've already lost. You ain't even hit the water. All right, somebody's going to win $10,000. Is it going to be you? It might be. All right. Zeke of Zeke. I can't believe that negative attitude I got out here. Eddie Jackson. Yeah. Dang, I've fished Martin my whole life. and You ready? To oh, man, it, it ain't going to be no good that weekend. It'll be great that every week but that one. All right, it looks like y'all got 16.41. That's a good day. It is. Uh, you know, we thought we had 15, so. I can, I can drop it down if you want. No, thank you. What you catch them on today? Uh, we caught them on everything from the jig to some plastic baits. Okay. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Excellent finish. Christopher Graham, Bill Granberry, you need 20. You need 20.84 to take the lead. Oh, just shy of 23 pounds. 22-29, taking the lead. A new leader up to 22-29. How about that? It's good. We work Where's your partner? He's right there. He's tired. He worked hard. You know he's going to hold up these fish, and you're not going to be in any of these pictures. That is. He's tired from setting the hook all day. Oh, my God. Was he catching them? Oh, we caught them. Yeah, we caught them all day. We On what? Hard, though. So we caught them in the grass. We junk fish most of the day. Um, we had a good time. What are you catch them in the grass on? Um, everybody probably knows. I'm not going to tell. This is the home lake. So everybody out here already probably knows. Everybody knows, dude. I've heard shaky head. I heard swim jigs. I've heard I, you know, let's just, rattle trap. Let's just go with shaky head. Okay. Wasn't that. <laughs> All right. Let's mark that down. You're ripping a trap through grass? That wasn't happening either. You were swimming a jig, weren't you? We swam a jig. So you were doing a lot of different things. Now, same area? Oh, no. We, were, we went all over the lake today. So. Trying to hit the same type of spots? Same, Pattern? same type of spots, yeah. We didn't figure it out till probably, I don't know, probably 2 o'clock. And what was it that turned you on? What's the key? What thing you were looking for? Uh, water temperature. And I'm not going really? to give it away, but we were looking for a certain water temperature. Really? So yeah. not the warmest area you could find where they possibly moved up or possibly yes or no? That's fair to say. Bill's probably... He's probably upset with me talking too much. Right? Hey, no, everybody wants to go. and Fish are going to move up where it's warmer, and it'll spawn yeah. usually quicker. That's right. It happens. Hey, good job. Grab a couple of these bass. Hold them up for us. You're our new leaders right now. Alabama Bass Trail. First stop of the South Division. Lay Lake here at Bees Wax Park. And we got 22 pounds and change. 22-29, our official lead right now. Big old large man. Oh, yeah, we'll do it anyway. Hold, hold these bass up, and then we'll... We'll get the basket in there and weigh it solo. Hold them up there. Straight ahead first, Dan O'Sullivan. Who's our jib? Oh, it's just singing on that same spot. Dude, you had a good day, huh? Can't believe your partner wouldn't come up here. You realize it's only the person that gets the check is the people that come across stage. 
Yeah, that's going to be 5,000 reasons for him to get it because it's $10,000 payday if you win this thing. That's right. I would like to say two things. So uh, kudos to Kay, Clay, and the team. Um, it was impressive this morning, 225 boats, getting us in here, getting us out. I know it's stressful for them, but it's not stressful for us anglers. So Dude, hey, kudos to all the anglers out here because I've covered a lot of bass fishing events, and y'all did an awesome job as anglers of taking care of business the way it's supposed to be done. That's right. One more plug to uh, Coosa River Keepers. They're a nonprofit organization. They're the ones that take care of the Coosa River, make sure it's safe to swim, make sure the fish are safe to eat, and make sure that we can come back here and catch big fish like that. So go out, check out the website, see what all they have to offer. Very good people. Good job. Congratulations, our new leader on the Alabama Bass Trail with 22.29. Chris Graham, Bill Granberry, 22.29. We have somebody trump that one. Tom Nelson, Bailey Nelson, don't want to talk to me. They're hanging on over there. You done ate into your time. I told you, you don't have to wait. You can just come out here. All right, Woods and Water BF, Goodrich, Pro Clean. What else we got here? West Alabama. But you, you're all done. Roll Tide. What's that? Tidal Town. Tidal I'm from Tidal. Texas. Roll Tide, is that that new? Never mind. I was going to I was, I was say that. I do. I thought when you say Roll Tide in Texas, that, that sounds like a paper product. <laughs> That's no, championships. That. That's championships. You're right, it is. Hey, uh, how did it go today for you? We had a we had a fun day. We really did. Twelve seventy five, and had a good time. That's what it's all about. Good job. We had a good time. I enjoyed the day with my son. That 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 beats everything. Good job. Congratulations. Uh, good having you out here. You got to harass some of the Alabama guy because you know I mean you go to a state and they got two professional teams, the uh, Auburn Tigers and the uh, Alabama Crimson Tide. I mean that's it. So I mean you either one way or the other, right? Which team's your team? Is it Auburn or Alabama? It's Auburn, man. Auburn, see. Went back to back, and then you get the War Eagle out of it. You got 11 16 today. Better than last time. And a little more, you get up there to 15. That's really the one I think is going to be close to the pay day. Uh, that's probably where I see it, too. Good job out there today. Thank you, sir. Brad Edwards, Michael Finley. Michael Finley, I thought he used to play for the Mavericks back in the 90s. Five fish. Yeah, wrong one. 13 52, though. Yeah, we had a good day. We caught a, caught a lot of fish. We just targeted the wrong variety, it looks like. It looks like. Uh, how did Interstate Batteries do you? Great. Trolling around good, cranking good? Absolutely. Solid. What's your name? Katie. You fish, Katie? No. Not yet? You need to. Not yet. Not happening. Not happening. That's all right. Keep supporting. All right. Good job out there. Congratulations on your catch. Mike Scroggins, Earl Andrew. Got four fish. Unfortunately, one of them has expired, so we're going to have to penalize you for that one out there. Looks like 688. Take a pound off of that. No, did you have a good time fishing? We did. Just didn't put them in the boat. Not today. We'll still give you four more chances. Thank you, sir. All right, bring on Bill Cook, Dan Graham. So hang on, Clay. We talk about the guys that come in. We started at what time today? 2.30 is our first flight check-in, right? So what time's our last flight? 4.30, right? 4.30. And then when do we officially can we slow the, close the scales? Oh. Five o'clock is our time like that. So we still have some time. Oh, man, my phone died. Oh, we still have some time on that before we can do that officially. But Bill Cook, Dan Graham, 11.45 for you today out there. Were you pleased with that outcome? No. Why? That was a tough day for Did us. Did you have fish on? Did you didn't get in the boat? No. no. Just, just couldn't get them to bite? No, we couldn't get them to bite. What were you throwing? Jigs. You can tell me. If he didn't catch, he yeah, didn't catch yeah, it. Yeah, jig. Jig. Swimming a jig or yeah. flipping? Yeah, both. Okay, doing it all. Hey, you'll get another opportunity, guys. Thank you. Yeah, so 4.30 is our time. So the last flight just checked in about five minutes ago. That's why I was wondering about that, and we give an extra 30 minutes after that before we can can possibly officially do this. And 15 minutes after, Randy Lavoy and Mahoney had no problems with that down on 10.33 out there today. But how many total fish do you think you caught? Yeah, we probably caught 15, maybe. Just couldn't get in a big bite? No, nah, we just... Last two days of practice, we've been getting three big bites a day. Today, we just couldn't do it. Just shut off. And that was making the difference in practice. Oh, yeah. They dropped, you know, the water dropped about 12 inches last night. And where we were catching them, that just killed our bites. I heard that. All right. Thank you, sir. Good job, guys. Eric Morris, Ben Williamson. They were in boat 152. 225 boats launched this morning. 1403. Not too bad, though. No, not too bad. But all my employees are watching on TV and stuff like that. So I want to say hi to them. Thank uh, you. They're going to say, you got the full Wadawi Marine gear out there on it? That's right. They're going to say, hey, we're going to have to get you to XL and get out of this medium. That's right. That's right. <laughs> hey, uh, having fun out on the water? Absolutely. It's great, man. They do a great job getting us in and out. I mean, it's fantastic. Good job. Good having you out there this year on the Alabama Bass Trail. 1432 for our next pair, Lee Holmes and Alan Gwynn. 
Come on over here, sir. I say when they bail off, you can just come on here, hop out. How, how did it treat you today? It was a great day of fishing, man. We yeah. caught probably 18 bass, but we just couldn't get that big bite we needed to push good. us over the top. Good having you there, though. Almost 15 pounds. Thank you, sir. Daryl Crenshaw, Barry Chafin. Is that right? Good. I could have said chaffin, and then I'd have got my tail. Yeah, chaffin works sometimes too. I've been called. You've been called a lot worse, haven't you? Right. Ten eighty-two for y'all today. Not not bad. Does that mean we win? We you win the closest to ten eighty-two. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have another chance to win it. Where? Uh, where am I going? Next? Lake Martin's next. Okay. You ever fish there? No. Perfect. We'll see you there. You're set up, Steve Lippum. I love that name. And Mitch Milner, because I always say Steve. I said if it was just Dewey, Dewey Lippum, that would be the one. Ten ninety four for you today. Yeah, it was a tough day for us. We didn't catch maybe seven or eight keepers all day. Just shy of eleven pounds. Thank you, sir. Move on to Nolan Brandon and Angela Garcia. Said he never watched the Alabama Bass Trail on Fox Sports Southeast. I think he is a lying machine. One thing I noticed, oh, man, there's people right around that mark, and I think you might be one one hundredth shy of uh, at least a tie there. 1595, though, Angel, that's a good start to your 2018 season, just shy of uh, 16 pounds. Yeah. we. Uh, you, you sound dis yeah. Sound disappointed. It was a good day. We had a really good day. Um, I was a good net man today, so that's all that matters. You sticking them? Yeah, we had a good day. We just didn't get the big bite that we needed. It. How many total do you think you got? Probably didn't catch, but maybe a dozen fish. Yeah. Dozen's still a good day, and you still caught some good. It'll help you out in points, and that, that's an objective as well, to get that team championship. Yes. yes. Good, good job, Andrew. Good job, guys. Rob Lee, Steve Winslet. Our next contestant's up on the fish's right. We've got five bass in there. Not seeing the big big ones, but you got over 11, almost 11 and a half. Look like 11.47 today. A little bit better than I thought. We're proud to have them. Good job, Dan. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Again, our lead right now, 22-29, Chris Graham, Bill Granberry, top 10 right now. To get inside that, you need 18.06 as Michael Cox and Colt Boyette come up to the stage. Five fish, but one expired, so we're going to have to penalize you for that. All right, let me look at Halo, get on, set the hook, sunset. See, when you're so buff like that, I can't even read all of it. Sunset bar, <laughs> Amsco, Country Financial, Supercharge. We got what else is around the nether region? Thompson Carriers, Gordy Eye Care. Did you see any fish today? Oh, yeah. We seen a couple, but they uh, wouldn't bite. The one in there held his breath too long in a live well. And that hurts. Yeah, it does. 12.04, and we're uh, going to have to penalize off of that. But good job today. Good start to your season. Appreciate it. Y'all go. Thank you, guys. Up next, Taylor Terry, Hunter Lashley. Two bass in the live well, but we talk about points. Ooh, you might win our Diet Mountain Dew small bass, though, right? I might do it. 306 between these two bass, and uh, I know that's not the day you were hoping for. No, not really. You ever fished Martin before? Martin? Yeah. A couple times. A couple times. How'd you do? Not too good. You catch more than three pounds? <laughs> yeah. Okay, then now you're something to look forward to. Thank you, sir. Hunter Weeks, Brett Ste Stevens. Is it Stephens or Stevens? That's what I thought. But again, trying to double check. I second guess myself. 1233 is your total today. Not bad. Not bad at all. What'd you think you were going to catch? We caught 11 or 12. 11 or 12? Well, you did just that. What'd you catch them on? Uh, you are lying no matter. Get off stage. When you had to sit, you could see the mine working, and those that little mouse on the on that wheel was way way slow on that one. I, uh, yeah, I knew he wasn't going to tell me the truth. Steve or Kevin Scales and Bart Lindsay, you got 11:13 today. Better than what we thought after practice. Yeah, yeah. tough practice. Yes, sir. And then pulling water probably didn't help you none, or did it? Uh, didn't. Because sometimes I can get you focusing on one thing. But yeah, the bad thing is we caught all five of them fish on a swim jig, and that's all we can get out of them. Good job on catching that in at least. Good job, guys. Thank you. Jim White, Brent Gordon, or Brent Jordan. Sorry about that. They're bringing five fish to scales and over 13, almost 14 pounds. Looks like 1380, 1389. We caught them the way we wanted to. We just didn't catch the right ones. And how was that? Flipping. Flipping. <laughs> Flipping docks? Grass. Grass. All right. How deep? About two foot. All the way up to the bank, dragging it back? Uh, off the end of the grass bed. Oh, really? Okay. So, did we out looking for fish too today? Trying to. We was on something yesterday, but, you know, they lowered the water, and that kind of killed a little bit. Yeah, moved out a little bit. All right, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. John Drew, Chris Brummett. Woo! Really? I like hearing that. Let's find out. 1355, but I hear you got a big one in there. Who got the big one? You got the big one? Got the big one. What'd you catch it on? Swim bait. Swim bait? What kind of swim bait? 
I don't know about that. Oh, come on. Six inches, eight inches, 10, 12? Six inches. Six inches. Slow, just working it. Right on the grass, man. Came what color was it? Albino. Albino, okay. So I can see it really good, right? So you're telling me go the opposite way? Uh, no. No, no, no. He's telling me the truth. Hey, so our Mountain Dew Big Bass is 681. That's Dudley and McGuire. I say was 681. We got a new Mountain Dew Big Bass, 713 for Drew and Brummett. Hey, woo, swim bait fish. Those are fun, too, but they also can get thrown, you know, um, single hook or something like that. You catch on bottom hook, top hook. What kind of bait are we talking about? Uh, single hook, swim bait, um, quarter ounce weight on that on that hook. And uh, missed about four this morning, a little bit smaller than that one. And then, uh, finally, it was hammer time. Now, did you net it? Oh, absolutely. Uh, what, how, how, what was the heart like, uh, blood pressure? I was calm. He was not. Really? <laughs> I was, did you have a camera on board? No, we didn't. Got to get your GoPro, man. That was your moment. Now, look at this. Fox Sports Southeast. I'm glad to tell you about it. Tell me. <laughs> it was a good day, man. Blessing. How many? Did you have a bunch of blow-ups at all today or just one, one hammer time? Um, I missed probably about four, and a couple were probably a little bit smaller than that one. So good day, though. Congratulations. Grab that bad boy. Hold it up. No, don't leave. Go grab it. 713. We want to see what it looks like. Large and in charge. Good fish. Yep, that's what Lay Lake's all about. You can clap. It's okay, ladies and gentlemen. Great job, man. That was a quick. You got to do it longer. You got to hold it out there a little farther. Dano's still racking focus. Brandon Cody, Drake Sifrit. Is it Sifrit or Sifrit? Si I felt that one. I felt the presence. Got three bass, though, today. Not, not, not the four and five mode. What happened? Did you ever have them on? Uh, yeah, we had them on. Threw one over the boat. Um, that small, though? Yeah, that small. No, I just set the hook that hard. So. <laughs> that could happen, too. I've seen it. We forgot the net. Forgot the net. Come on, now. 556. And you drove from Florida to, to forget all this stuff. We got to go all the way back to Panama City, so. Hey, it's all good. Did you have a good time in Alabama Bass Trail? We had a blast. Bunch of big sticks here uh, in Alabama Bass Trail, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's uh, definitely different than what we're used to in Florida. Did you get to practice? Yes, sir. Yeah. How'd it go? Real good practice. They pull water to mess you up? A mm, little bit. But, all right, Hank, you're going to get another chance. There's a lot of beautiful lakes here in Alabama. Joe Knight, Michelle Bressy, come on over here. Joseph Knight, Michelle Bressy, yeah, y'all did have a good day. Over 17 pounds, look like 1703. Not too bad. Good job. Yeah, we have a pretty good day. How, how, how did it go out there for you? All right. Did you catch a lot, or it was him? It was him. Yeah, you caught most of them. Did she net them? Yeah. She did. Then you caught them, right? I was there for one. What would you catch them on? Swim jig. Swim jig? Any particular brand, model, make? Now just a uh, homemade jig. Good job. Over 17 pounds, guys. I think that's going to get you a paycheck. Good job. Careful on them stairs. Stan Fairchild, Derek Percival. They got four bass. Come on now. You know it's a five-fish tournament. Blessed to be here today. Yeah. It was a pretty good day. We we had a good time on the water. Saw a lot of boats. And, hey. What, <laughs> 580. It's better than being up here announcing all day. Well, that is true. And uh, I'm glad you're here doing that. You're doing a great job. Thank you, sir. I, uh, I enjoyed it. He uh, he had a pretty good day. We uh, we lost one in the net. It hit the side of the net and came off, and that's how fishing goes. It happens. It is. And you're going to get a chance to redeem yourself at Martin. Yes, we are. And then on from there. Good, good job, guys. Thank you for being with us. Scott Luster, Jerry Cook. Scott not want to make it, huh? He, he said, forget that. The, the, boat, the boat's already on the, on the trailer, hopefully, by now. He better get on it. 11.38 for you today. Thank you, sir. Good job. Thank you. Trey Pritchard, Talon Pritchard. Team Pritchard, come on. Got two fish. Did you each catch one? Yes, sir. We did. Yeah? Tell me tell me about it. I know you can break this down for me. What happened today? Why didn't you catch five? Well, first of all, their mouths weren't open this morning. They didn't open them up. They didn't open them up for us. And uh, uh, it was rough. We just fished a bunch of different areas. I couldn't tell you how many different pockets we were in today. Just get out of the wind. But it was rough for us. But uh, we covered a lot of water, and we just we only were able to catch one, but it was really fun. Uh, thank you, everybody, for hosting a great tournament, and uh, thanks for everything. 495 your total out there today. We'll see you the next round. Right, Trey and Talent. This is going to be good? No, it's going to be Brandon Jones and Joe Bethea. Okay. Joe Bethea. Bethea. Brandon Jones and Joe Bethea. They got five bass. Joe's so good, they don't even put his name on our board here. That way he can, he can be sneaky. Come on, talk to me. You don't have to worry about that. They're, they'll take care of that. The the fish will shrink if you touch that touch that screen anymore. 
How did they go? Uh, it was all right. Just couldn't find a big fish. All right, extremely adequate. You almost got 14 pounds. So I got 13.97 today. Good job. Thank you. Firing up our generators. Get a little late in the day here at Beeswax on Lay Lake, the first stop of the Alabama Bass Trail South Division. It's our first stop overall after our postponement of the first round of Pickwick. I got to figure out how I'm going to say that each time. Round two coming up next at Lake Gunnersville, first to the north. Evan Robbins, Justin Coker. Looks like y'all got 10:52 today. Yeah, I'm, we'll take that. We had pretty good practice, but as usual. You know, when it's real good fishing conditions, they draw the lake down, so. Oh, they're doing it to mess with you. Oh, yeah, that's what they're doing. They Big figures. Maybe Martin, it'll hold steady. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, you can only go up from here, so. Yeah. Hey, thanks, guys. Good job. Joey Davidson, tell us near. Good day, bad day. Looks like a pretty decent day. There's a lot of people around that 15-pound mark. You got 1494 unofficially. Terrible day for us. Terrible. Why? Dropped the water on us, so we had to kind of change from the start. Got to think on your feet, right? Got to. <laughs> and you did, though. No, you caught almost 15 pounds. Good job. Thank you, sir. Chris Rollin, Kobe Card, come on over here. The defending anglers of the year for the South Division. Two-time, is that right? A two-time winner at Lay Lake on the Alabama Bass Trail? That's correct. Golly, it's crazy. I'm looking to see if it could be a three-time, but I'm looking over here and I see 1685. It's not going to happen this year. No, not today. It's not. Hey, um, but, you know, consistency is what won you that championship and finishing well at all five stops, and this is going to do it again. I bet probably a top 20, top 25 spot. Yeah, uh, that's the name of the game if you want to win the AOI is the, or the team of the year is to be consistent. But, um, of course, we want to win, too. So, and, But on that same note, like I, I, I mentioned earlier at the top of our show, that you're fishing with their money. It's like, you know, when you're ahead at the casino, they paid for your entry fees coming into uh, this season, and, and that's always a good thing. Yeah, it is, exactly. We were uh, got our entry fees paid for this year, which is a great thing. And we really enjoy this trail. Very well run. We appreciate what you guys do, and it's a lot of fun. Thank, Thank you. you, Chris. Appreciate it. All right. Say hi to Kobe. Let's find out what uh, Paul Tarpley and Craig Cotter has. Welcome back, Cotter. Come on over here. Five fish. Welcome back. Let's see what we got. Five fish. Going to be over 10. Almost 11. Looks like 10.89. What are we all doing to catch them today? A little bit of everything. Yeah, like what? Jig. Jig. A lot of jig. Spinnerbait. Spinnerbait, crankbait. He, you were doing a lot. Yeah. Did you throw a fluke? Nope. Carolina rig? Nope. I heard that today, too. I wouldn't have thought that, but hey, you know, hey anything, anything catch them. We'll see you, Martin. Appreciate it. See you there. Thank you, sir. Is it Jimmy Despinette? Is that right? Despinette and Russell Stewart. Hey, y'all had a pretty good day. Unfortunately, I think I just saw that number across the scales just saying, you know, 1494. A lot of people right around that 15 pound mark. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, did you ever have one that could have helped you? Sure did. Lost it right off the bat. What kind of bait were you throwing? One with, one with multiple hooks or one with a single hook? Single hook. That's your fault. I was Texas rigging a stick bait Gosh. all day. Yeah? All day. So did you get close to the bait? He or finally, close to the boat? He finally decided to put one on and started catching fish. This is, this hey, he's hard-headed. He, he wants a jersey that says Steve, right? Yeah. Netman Net Steve. Netman Steve. All right, Netman. We'll see you at Lake Martin. See if you can step it up. 1431 is what Brian Adamson and Ryan Lloyd have. And not too bad of a day, but I know you're disappointed. I can see it on his face. It's written all over it. Back-to-back -back five pounders we lost. So. I'm calling crazy, but that's 10 pounds and two fish. It is. It hurts. Who lost them, you or him? Me. <laughs> you missed them with the rod or you missed them with the net? Uh, the rod. Oh. I'll take All right. Good job on the ones you did catch. Sorry about that. Rex Chambers, Brett Crow, you're not going to win this thing with 11.58 out there. Now it's time to go golfing the rest of the week. I'm going golfing. I'd rather have been golfing today. We caught a lot of fish. We just couldn't get the size like everybody else did today. It's the way it goes for us. Were you uh, thinking about beating the bank pretty hard and then they pulled water? Or what, what was the original thought process starting into today? Well, we had some fish on the bed, but they dropped the water, and that was it. And we had boat 187, so we, we didn't get to fish for those. And then we caught some decent ones Thursday and Friday, but all little ones today. I heard um, the water level started coming back up later on the day. Did it turn back on for you or no? No, nah, they filled it back up, but our, our fish never moved up. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Brent. Thanks, Ratch. Mike Harden, Michael Harden, come on over here. The Harden boys, Harden squared, 1690. Hey, that's a good start to your season, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, we can't complain. Yeah, I mean, almost 17 pounds going to be up there. I believe that's top 25. They're going to make a paycheck. You can't ask for much more. If you're, if you're not going to catch them enough to win, you know you did well. Yeah, I just netted. Perfect teamwork, right? That's right. Keep That's whacking right. them. Keep whacking them, Michael. Thank you. Tyler Hanson, Mark Hanson, they had an 
Are you kidding me? Fourteen ninety four. This is this is three in the past probably ten anglers with fourteen ninety four. We're gonna have to break a lot of ties today. Um, tell me about your day. Yeah, it was pretty rough. We lost a cranking battery at about eleven o'clock this morning. So. So what did you do? I just kind of messed around and tried to save the trolling motor battery the best I could. But Jumped it still. Yeah, I jumped it. Good job out there in uh, Nitro Bass Pro Shops helping you out. Good job, guys. Chandler Hudson, Dusty Owen. Looks like you got 1432. Not too bad today. Not not too bad a start for your ABTCs. No, not too bad. We just could never get a big bite. We, it happens. Yeah. It happens. Even didn't have one big and on? Nope, never did. And you did good then doing doing what you did, caught the ones you had. Opportunities to catch. Robert per Roger Perkins, Brandon Baker. Come on over here. Let's find out what you got. Good day, bad day? Decent. Extremely adequate day. All right, now let me take it again. I always say this. It's the Wright Barbecue Company. You can find them at www.wrightbbqco.com. 1474. You did have a pretty good day. Good job. Thanks. Thank you, sir. I want some brisket next time. Y'all come up here. Nice sandwich. I'll drink a Mountain Dew. I'll be in business. TH Marine, their sponsors. David Hutchins, Todd Spencer. Hey, 2229, take the lead. You got it? No, we do not. That looks like a storm hat. What's that hat for? Lake Elsinore Storm. Lake Elsinore Storm. I was like, my son is a Highland Village Storm, but I, I've been to that Lake Elsinore games. You from California originally? I was in the Marine Corps. We used to go out there a lot. Gotcha. Yeah, I did. I went out there too. What were y'all fishing today? Fishing, not very good. Not good. <laughs> you were fishing, not very good. Ten sixty-six. Your total. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks for fishing. Wyatt Burke Halter, Dax Massey. Come on over here. We're gonna go through these guys and get up done. Get you some paychecks out here. We're gonna have a big paycheck for you today. I hope so. I hope so. Let's find out. You're going to get a paycheck, I believe, 1766. Good job. Hey, congratulations. Awesome job. How many times you fish Alabama Bass Trail? Uh, third year. Third year. Uh, and what's your best finish? Uh, teens. In the teens? You might be there again today. 17-something. You're probably right around the teen mark. Good job, guys. 1766. Miles Palmer, BJ Barnett, come on over here and a whole gaggle, a whole mess of family coming up here. Come on up here, guys. Miles and BJ, you got 1164. Who's with us today? This is BJ's kids. I don't. Have yeah. Them yet. So you don't even know who are these kids? <laughs> this is Davis and Dawson. Davis and Dawson, y'all fish? Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. What do you like fishing with? What's your favorite bait? Uh, I don't know. What's yours? Whatever will catch something. Whatever is they're biting. That, that's a very good answer. Good job on your catch today, guys. Thank you. We'll see you out here on ABT, little guys. All right. Justin Durden, Jacob Walker, you got over 15 pounds. I think you need that. I know you don't need 1494. It seems like everybody's had that lately. You got over that 1581 for you today. Not a bad start. Not at all. I mean, just got after it all day. It did good. Happy with that weight? Uh, it's all right. Needed one more big bite. It's all right. All right. Good job, guys. Thank you. Michael Jennings, Mitchell Smallwood, come on over here. Good day? Uh, decent day. Decent? Let's see what decent is. Ooh, God. 14.58. You're right. It's decent. We'll see where it puts. Hey, it's five, five tournament series. Maybe we can get that team championship, right? Yes, sir. That's what we're going for. Good start. Thank you, guys. Michael Jennings and Smallwood exit the stage. Kyle Thrasher, Josh Dunn into the stage. TH Marine, Southern Pipe and Supply, Triton Boats, Mercury. That's how you get it done. You see how I just smoothly put that in there? I like it. Landline mulching. What's your favorite mulch? Uh... I don't have a some kind of hardwood, some kind of hardwood. 1475 for you today. It's a good start to the season. It's a lot better than practice. Hey, good, good improvement. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Kevin Phillips, Robert Metis, right? I, I, I fight myself every time when I see it. Five fish today. Not the five you were looking for, though, huh? No, we got one good one. But... One good one. 1607, though. I mean, hey, that's, that's the right side of that 15-pound mark. Yeah. I mean, we needed one more good bite, but that's not bad. Good job. Congratulations, guys. Sipping on that Mountain Dew as we move on to our next pair of anglers. Kirk Jones, Tanner Bender, five bass. You leave it. Put, put them back in there. Put them back in there. Remember, I said once it gets in there, you just come and talk to me. Some of the guys just, they, hey, it, it, it's all new to you, right? That's right. It's all new. <laughs> hey, but now you get to talk here on stage. Hey, it's your time to shine. 1046 today, and you caught them all. No. No, you. when you're the only one that sums up here, I caught them all. I caught them all. There you go. Good job. Because it was either in the net or on the on the line, right? That's right. Good job. Congratu congratulations. Yeah, I had a part of catching them all. Ricky Harp, Don Hogue. Come on over here, guys. Ricky Harp, Don Hogue. How'd it go today? It went good. We just didn't get enough big bites. Yeah. Everybody searching that big bite. 14-14, though. 
Sounds like a good lottery numbers. Thought you had 10 or 11. You were a horrible guesser, sir. You were a hor three pounds off. He's the one that told you. Between the two of you, you oh, you got it. You're the experienced one. Good, yeah, good job there. Thank you. Mark Cameron, is it Sean Marcus or Marquis? Marquis. See that name up in the marquee, 1393 for you today. Just not going to see it on the marquee today, huh? No, not at all. It was... What were y'all fishing with? What, what lure? Uh, drag, I was dragging a uh, Yamamoto Cinco. Cinco, Gary Yamamoto Cinco. All right, good job. What were you doing? I was throwing a shaky head and a crankbait. Good job on your catches today, guys. Thank you. Tim Moore, Jesse Smith. <laughs> Woo! Cheering section of one. Yeah. yeah. But still represent 994 is your total out there today. About what you thought? Yeah, it's, 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 it was tough. Like I said, we had no fish until 2 o'clock and then ended up getting a flurry. So, I mean, we just missed some key bites at the end of the day. Is that a brand new shirt? Yes, it is. What are you doing? Are you trying to retie with the hooks on your belly? No, it rubbed off because of my life jacket on the boat. You, you need to work on that life jacket. I think it's beat up on that thing. I thought he was sitting there hanging his hook in there and trying to retie every time. I, I tried to keep him working, but he didn't. Know, it didn't work, so he, gets, he had to tie on a little bit. So. All right, good job, guys. Thank you. All right. Is it Mark Succi? That's close and what is it? What is it close? Tell, tell, tell me what it, exactly what it is. So I'll Susie. Susie, I get all right. I get it. Susie, not Sushi. I didn't say no, that other one. Susie. So and Bo Washam. Hey, y'all did all right. Fourteen oh two today. Not too bad. No. No. First time fishing. Then that's all right. First time at Lay Lake. Uh yes. Okay, not too bad at all. What do you think about it? Beautiful place. What do you think of ABT? There's a lot of boats on the water. We just take off this morning, wasn't it? It's a well-run tournament. I'm impressed with everything. Yeah, it was, it, it, it was cool seeing all of y'all get together and then do it right this morning. And your first time, congratulations. I want to shake your hand. Thank you for being with us here. Thank you, guys. So you said Susie, right? Susie. I got to remember. Like Susical the Musical. RJ Seavers, Roy Seavers. Hey, I, I'm looking at 1271 on there for you today. How'd practice go? It was rough yesterday. So you're okay with this 1271? Eh. Eh. <laughs> eh. It could have been worse. Turn it up in Martin. It could have been worse. Okay. Do it at Martin. It, it, it could have been a lot worse. I've seen it. Scott Trotter, Aaron Moore. What do they have today in the live well? 15, 20, 25 pounds. What we got? We got five fish, but we got five small. Five little guys. So we got 13, 11 for you today, sir. We're going to have to keep, keep bumping it up as we move on through the five stops to the south. Jimbo Deaton, John the King. Boat 175 when you launched this morning, and you said, man, there's a lot of guys in front of me. Where'd you go? Uh, we went up for about two miles, and uh, somebody was sitting on a spot and turned around and run 10 back down. You're going the wrong. How'd that work out for you? Not too well. 10.54. You should have stayed up north. All right. Thank you, sir. Bring it on, Danny Parker, Gage Parker. Come on over here. Got five bass. Five bass for uh, Danny and Gage. Looks like 11.71 your total today. Who caught more, you or him? Yeah. He did, yeah. Hey, at least he's honest. Yeah, we, we did good, though. He, he, he caught a couple. Not learning, right? Yeah. Good job. Thanks for fishing with us. Thank you, guys. Mark Mott, Justin Mott. Come on over here, guys. Hey, y'all did all right today, huh? Yeah, I think we got a little lucky today. Uh, lucky? I don't know if it's luck, but I, I think the skill has paid off with 16.49 today. Not too bad. Well, how are you catching them? Uh, we were throwing a blade. It was just real simple. Go down the bank, and they were just eating. Really? Just parallel? No, just running just anywhere. Yeah. We like I said, we got You're blind cast crazy. Both of you throwing the same thing? Picked a good bait. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Good job. Congratulations on that. You hear that, Dano? Blading for sixteen something. Is that JQ's? I'm joking. I Tommy Jackson, Chuck Roberts, coming on up here with five fish, but unfortunately, it's eight oh six. Not what I expected. Well, hey, I was nothing but the net man today. Really? You big stick on the water today with, with those, huh? Those were hard fought for, yeah. I bet they were. Hey, you're going to get to redeem yourself. You got Martin coming up. Got Martin. We'll see you there, guys. Thank you. Harry Parkerson, Jason Turner, they're coming up next. They've got over 10, over 11, 11 and a half, 11.67 your total. About what you thought? Pretty close. How'd practice go? Practice was good. Better than this? Better, yeah. Shouldn't have caught them in practice. We didn't catch that many. Oh, you, you saw a lot of them? No. Not that either? No. Did you had a hook cut off or covered? And Something like that. Something like that. All right, good job with your catch today, guys. Thank you. Justin West, Allen, not so old McDonald. 
555 is what I'm seeing for your total today. Uh, you want the vertical head shake, not the side to side. That, that wasn't what you're wanting. No, it ain't. No, we had a good practice, but. What happened? Water pulling? We don't really know. We were, Something changed, huh? We were looking at them, but I uh, guess we just caught the males. Gotcha. Thank you, guys. Up next, Johnny Zendale, James Van Blake coming up next. I got five bass. Dude, I see one good one over there on that far side. I think you had a pretty darn good day, a real good day. And you're going to move up inside that top 10. Top 10 is 1806. You got 1859 for Zundell and Van Blake. Hey, congratulations. The top 10 will be a great start to the season. How'd it go out there today? Started hot. Fire. Fire. Had a limit in 40 minutes. Yeah? Rolling in an hour. That's awesome. Doing what? Fishing. Uh, you can tell. You can tell I'm not going to get a word out of him. Was it, was it really shake your head? Shake your head. And, and that's hard to slow down sometime, or did it even need to slow down? You are just putting in the right spots. Right spot. That's awesome. That's good. Both y'all doing the same thing? We was. You want to grab, grab a couple bass? Go grab a couple of these, right? Yeah. Grab a couple of these bass. Hold them up again. I got over 18 pounds. That? 18. Oh, I was waiting for it to pop up there. 18.59. That's going to move you into sixth place right now, guys. Yeah, and then Livewell is really doing an awesome job. That legend. Yeah, <laughs> Legend Livewell is doing him good, doing him right. That's what he said. How many we got left in that in those tanks? That's about it. We're going to crown a champion here in a little bit. We're going to be paying some bills here in a little bit. Forty thousand dollars plus going to be given away here in just a moment. Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats. Stop number one on tour, the first of the Southern Division. Thank you, sir. Ryan Phillips, Boyd Hodge. They got five bass. Are they five good ones to move up there in that payday? We pay down to 40th place. You got enough to get for top 40? I don't think so. Not today, you don't think. What do you think you got? Nine and a half. Nine and a half. You're right. You're not going to make that top 40, but let's find out where this puts you. Well, you also under oh, underguessed 1086. Pretty good. Good job. Congratulations, guys, on that catch. Let's move on to our next pair as Phillips and Hodge exit the stage. We bring on our next pair. That'd be Warren Hoffman, Ben Weldon. Ben putting a boat on the trailer? Well, no, you know when there's only one of us up here, we didn't do any good. Yeah, I had a feeling. I didn't even see who it was. And when I did, I, I saw that was the case. 1095. That happens on Lay Lake a lot. We'll get them figured out one day. Yeah, and I think, Martin, I think you'll do all right there. Uh, we're looking forward to that yeah, one. Yeah, I bet you are. Good job, brother. Thank you. Chris Cook, Lawson Cook. They got five bass. Are they the right five to move into that 40? We got, I see one that was good out there. You needed four more. You needed four like that one, right? Let's find out what you got. Cook and Cook, you got 1492 just under. And I already know there's a three way tie at 1494. So the, you needed, I mean, literally hundreds of ounces could help you up many places. That's right. We had one fish we really needed to cull, and that's all we got is five bites all day. Good job executing on that. Thank you guys. So move on, got five fish, but one has expired for Mr. Kitkowski and Annette Simpson. RJ and Annette gonna have around 872, and then we're gonna have to throw the penalty on there. Just a tough day of fishing today, huh? It was. What, um, how, how many did you catch? Two. Two bass today, both keepers? Both keepers. Yeah. You netting? Sure did. Yeah, that's good. What do you think of Lay Lake? How I was fishing? Did practice go better or did you practice? Just went better. <laughs> yeah, the water changing the water hurt you. Not for sure what happened. Something did though. Well, we'll see it. We'll see it, Martin. We'll see the rest of them. Thank you, Annette. Thank you, RJ. Let's find out. Brandon Hurst, Mike Freeman, waiting on the end. Looks like you're gonna have 1327 unofficially from me. 1327. That'll work. All right. Well, it is. It's way better. It's about 1327 better than zero. And last but certainly not least, Jimmy Wood, Ken Jones, the team we've been waiting for, the final team, and we'll do last call in just a moment. Jimmy Wood, Ken Jones, you got five bass. I see one good one as it comes up there, trying to make a paycheck, trying to get points. Looks like 1421 for the GTO Access Systems uh, crew out there, JB Custom Rods, Automated Doorways. Tell me about your day. It was long. Long, huh? Yeah. Not, not many bites? Nope. Did you execute on the ones you got? Nope. Really, you lost some? Two. Good ones? One of them was. Just slapping at it or you had it on and got off? I had it on and got off. Whose, whose fault was that? Yours or the fish? Mine. Single hook bait? Yep. That hurts. Oh, yeah. All right, bud. We'll see you, Lake Martin. We'll see where that puts you. 
All right, Clay, you doing final call? Where, I lost Clay. Oh. Doing final call? Everybody has checked in, so we're, again, a final call at the uh, scales. We can't close the scales right now. Or we got one more coming, you say, Chris? Okay. 180, I'll need a camera. They have a camera. Boat number 180. I don't know who 180 is, but if you're around still, you still have a camera with your boat. So boat number 180. Oh, actually, I can tell you right here, Chris. I got it on my... I still have my sheet from this morning. Boat number 180... Wyatt Burkhalter and Dax Massey. I don't remember them coming across. Could be wrong. Oh, yeah, they did. Got it? Yeah, they did. They came in early. 30 out. He's got it there. All right, so Clay, we good? All right, we are clear. So we're going to re-rack, re -rack, get ready to pay some guys. Uh, we can take a look again unofficially. 10th place, 1828. That's Yarborough and Dorset. And taking the win today, Christopher Graham, Bill Granberry with 22-29. Clay, is it safe for me to go down here and see the top 40 spots? Going down again. This is unofficially, and we have a lot of ties and everything else, but it should sort things. Yep. Let me look and see. Yep, the ties are in there and sorted, but no tie for 40th place. 40th place, it looks like a weight of 1560. Drew Blackman and Randall Hamilton, you are the last guys in the paycheck. 1547, Haney and Haney just outside looking in. So if you had 1560, that's what it took to make a paycheck today, and I'll try and get the, uh, the totals and everything, and we'll have payout here in just a moment, go through the official duties. Second place, can you come up here and talk to Dano, Joe Wyckoff, and Radney Atchison? They were happy to be up there, and they stayed there in that second spot for quite a while uh, today. So Wyckoff and Atchison, if you would, please come up here and talk to Dano. Thanks for watching the Alabama Bass Trail, presented by Phoenix Boats. I'd like to thank all of our sponsors like Wind Creek Casino, Bill Penny Toyota, America's first federal credit union on board this year, Garmin Electronics, Trapper Tackle, AFCO, Lose, Power Pole, E3 Sports Apparel, Yeti Coolers, Mountain Dew, the North Alabama and Alabama Mountain Lakes Tourist Association. Again, like to thank everybody for coming out here today on site, but also everybody watching on alabamabasstrail.org. You can go over there and talk to Dan. I don't need you upstage yet. You're ready to get that paycheck and get out of here. I know, I know what you're thinking. Again, everything I say is officially unofficial, and I'm just trying to give you a, a short run. We're going to go through our statistics and find out. Make sure that all ties have been broken, and we'll get back with you here in just a moment again. So just want to remind you, everything I say is officially unofficial, and we're going to go through the standings because I know there are a ton of ties and make sure everything is straight. We'll be back in just a moment. I'd like to welcome everybody on alabamabastrail.org. We're going through some final things here. And uh, about to pay out our checks literally uh, just a few minutes after the uh, tournament, less than an hour after the tournament closed. We are... Uh, Paying all the checks and everything that was unofficial now becomes official. All right, Kay Donaldson, the program director for the Alabama Bass Trail. We start off with our champions. And let's bring them up to the stage. Taking a win here at the Alabama Bass Trail. Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats. Let's bring up our winners with a grand total of 22-29, led by a 6-17 Big Bass, Christopher Graham, Bill Granberry. Congratulations on your victory, the first title here on the Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats. They take home a check for $10,000, not to mention what contingencies they may have taken home as well. They're the first place the recipients take the lion's share of that $47,000 total prize purse, paying all the way down to 40th place today out of 225 boats that left launch. Graham Granberry... Come on up here. Talk to me for a second. How does it feel to be a winner on the Alabama Bass Trail? That's a pretty big accomplishment. We, we wanted this one. It feels real good with Alan and all the good guys, Chris and Kobe. I, I, I can't believe it happened, so we're very happy. Well, Chris and Kobe being the uh, Southern Anglers of the Year, you know who the leader in the Angler of the Year tournament, or the race is right now, don't you? Well, right now it's us. That's right. That's it. Now it's everybody else's job to chase, and a lot of times 
people say the hardest thing to do is to get that first win. Now that you have that first win, does it kind of give you confidence going into Lake Martin? Uh, yes, sir, it does. We're looking forward to it. Were you surprised that you won this thing after practice and everything was all said and done uh, in your practice schedule? Yeah, we were surprised. You know, many times we're always a bite short, like like a lot of guys. But uh, we we work really hard, and we always think we're going to win. And sometimes you do, and sometimes you don't. Today we got lucky. You can pin down a difference. What was the difference maker today? Six pounder helped, and then Chuck made a great call. We had a place we caught fish, went back, didn't catch them, and then right at the end of the day he said, "Let's go one more time," and he caught a four pounder that called a two-pound spot. So it really and helped. that could have made the distance. How about a congratulations for these two taking a win and $10,000. They get the official check. Cash money in hand from Kate Donaldson, Christopher Graham, Bill Granbury, and stick around also because we will uh, do a quick interview for the Fox Sports Southeast deal. Get the Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats. You can go cash out America's first for credit, uh, federal credit union on the way. Joe Wyckoff, Randy Atchison, come on up here. You are second place. We'll pay our top three up top. Everybody else will get it down there on the bottom. Wyckoff and Atchison had 2084 and a $5,000 payday for these two. Congratulations. I know I've harassed them a day or two on the Alabama Bass Trail. Come on up there and you get your check. You get the accolades, and now you're second place in the championship standings here on the South. Congratulations, guys, and uh, we'll see you at, at Miller's. And I know you've already been practicing for that one, so big things are ahead. Congratulations. $5,000 richer with 2084. Third place, Charlie Williams, Michael Smith, 2072 on the day. They had a 542 in the bag, $4,000 for third place. Are they here? Coming over there. All right. Yep. You want to make sure that take the check today. Yeah. Well, Dowie Marine, oh, you're going to get some extra cash too. Play on, play it. You got a big chick? Let's work on this. All right, guys. So You know what she's having to work on, right? Huh? You know what she's working on, right? She's trying to get you paid some more. I know that's right. Would I, what did you do different than anybody else uh, didn't do? You, you finished well? Do, you're supposed to do the same thing, and you got paid a little extra. Exactly. That's good, though. Yeah? When did you get your boat? Shoot, I've had it from Eric. Bought it from Eric. Nice. He always does me good job. You're doing you right, right? Hey, congratulations on your finish. Uh, got to feel good walking out of here with a podium spot, huh? I, absolutely. Especially after our practice. Like yeah. That. How, how did it go from so bad to so good? Uh, we we caught a few fish on a rattle trap last week, and we just didn't know nowhere else to go, so we went there. They weren't there, so we just went to the bank. And rattle trap's a good search bait, but they, were, they weren't telling you no. Right, right, right. Good job out there. All right. Michael, hold up your check again for doing what you're supposed to be doing anyway is taking home uh, the highest place finisher with Dowie Marine, $1,000 extra. Yeah, get out there in that light. One more. I've got to get you with the Kodak disc. All right, everybody else will receive your check down there at the bottom. I'll work my way through them. Let's start off with fourth place with 2021 today. Shane Horton, Brandon Horton taking home $3,000. Congratulations, guys. Horton, Horton, $3,000 richer. Fifth place. Chris Miller, Jeremy Ray had 2019 today. $2,000 is their payday. Sixth place, place, James Van Blake. I got Donnie Zendale. Believe, I'm not sure if that was right there. there five fish for $1,859. They got $1,500. Nick Turner, Joe Lay, five bass for $1,853 with a $583 in the mix. That's good enough for $1,100. Another $1,100 payday for Charles Beach, Chuck Beach Jr. They had $1,849. Just four one hundredths out of that seventh spot in eighth. Bill Smith, Brian Miller, five fish for eighteen thirty three, eleven hundred dollars richer. Alan Yarborough, Kyle Dorset, five bass for eighteen twenty eight. Had a five oh two in the mix, and they 
take home a check for $1,100. And looks like Yarbrough and Dorset for $1,100. 11th place, Tim Hatcher, Shane Underwood, five bass for $1,806, taking home $750 in 11th. 12th goes to Pam Wells, Stephen Wells, the top 12. 1801, their total today, 750 bucks. 13th would be Shane Wallace, Anthony Colley, five bass for 1782, taking home 750, all the way down to 19th or 20th place, taking home 750 bucks. Wallace and Colley in 13th, 14th, Wyatt Burkhalter, Dax Massey. Good job, guys, in boat number 180, and they had a camera on their boat too. Boat 15, or excuse me, 15th place, boat number 127. Jason Hammaker, Adam Elliott, $750 richer, $1,751 on the day. Foster Bradley, Clint Ellis, 16th place was $1,747. Matt Green, Justin Nunley had $1,723. Good enough for 17th place and $750. 18th goes to Joseph Knight and Michelle Bressy. 18th place is $1,703 and $750. 19th is Ken Walters, Jason Beasley. Is 16.90 pounds and $750 payday. Mike Harden, Michael Harlan, Harden, tying for 19th, rounding out that top 20 uh, spot, $750. Those are the last of our $750 recipients. Just outside the top 20, Chris Rutland, Kobe Carden, another top 25 finish. Again, the defending Southern Anglers of the Year in 21st. 22nd, Ashley Brasher. Derek Moore was 1684. Gentry Gordy, Chad Smith in 23rd was 1670. Robbie Pelt, David Kaler, 1654 on the day, taking home $500. Everybody down to 40th place takes home $500 now. Mark Mott, Justin Mott, 1649 in 25th. 26, Jeff Morgan. Jeff Morgan and Tim Vanegman. Vanegman. That's it, Van Eggman, I got it. Boat number 75 with 1645 on the day. 27th place, Anthony Goggins, Jeremy Headley. And it will take the win, but taking a top 30 spot. 28th place, Zeke Ezekiel, Eddie Jackson. Action Jackson with 1641. Russell Weldon, Tommy Bass, five fish for 1633, good enough for 29th. 30th goes to Team Cheryl, David, and Dennis Cheryl with 1630. Barry Isbell, Bobby Freeman in 31st, five fish for 1614. Ralph Pierce, Doug Johnson, 1608 on the day, 32nd place. 33rd goes to Kevin Phillips, Robert Metis. Metis was 1607. 34th place, we have a tie, Jimmy Miller, Chris Miller, and Nolan Brandon, Angel Garcia. That's 1595. And tie for 34. 36 goes to Justin Durden, and Jacob Walker, 1581 on the day. Again, $500. Jonathan White, Chris Payne, 37th place at 1577. 38th is Ronnie Ray, Jason Ninas, 1569. 39th place is Gabe Aldris, Wes Wiggins at 1565. And last but certainly not least, taking home $500, Randall Hamilton and Drew Blackman. So that's going to be it. The Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats here at Lay Lake. The first stop of not only the Alabama Bass Trail, but the Alabama Bass Trail South. Next up, we move to the north to kick off the season for the North Division. Whoa, heads up, Kay. About to blow out a flip-flop. We'll be in Gunnersville in two weeks. The weekend of, I believe it's March 10th. Great save by Kay Donaldson here. Again, I'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making this event possible. Everybody watching on alabamabasstrail.org. Those of you watching on Facebook Live, thank you for following us here. And again, keep up with us online. Make sure you hashtag. Oh, we also have our big fish today, $500. Who's it going to? Chris Brumholt. Brumholt. Oh, Brummett and uh, John, Drew. John Drew taking home $500 for our Mountain Dew Big Bass. 713 on the day. Congratulations to them. And I'll throw in a can of Mountain Dew. 
So that's it for Lay Lake. Next stop, we'll see you at Lake Gunners. Well, you know big fish are going to be there, and it's been warm, so I expect big things. I'm Robbie Floyd for Gay Donaldson and the rest of the crew. Clay Ballas, we'll see you next stop on the Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats.